He's fallen? <laughs> what do you mean? Ah. It's a curious. Gotcha era begins. I'm not spending a single dollar on Honkai, dude. Sub goal for gotcha money? That's not what's happening. I'm not gonna spend money for gotcha. Never have. Never will. Rafa, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, dude. It's not. Your money will go to a good cause. That is not gotcha. Buy one gotcha. <laughs> I don't know how it works. You have to like buy in game currency and then it like turns into rolls, I think. I don't really. I don't know how many rolls it's worth. Like how, many, how much it costs. What's up, EOD? Are you like an hour early? I'm. Technically, I'm like 20 minutes early. But it feels like it's an hour early because I'm never, I'm never early. I'm always 30 minutes late. So when I'm 20 minutes early, it feels like I'm an hour early. Are you going to Wuwa tomorrow? What is Wuwa? This is a D's nuts. Earmark donations? What does earmarking mean? I'm not familiar with that term. Technically 20 minutes, practically one hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. That is a very good example of technically and practically. <laughs> Stupid name, but actually looks okay. Dude, I saw someone typing Wuthering Waves yesterday on Twitter. Like, one of my friends. I was like, I really want to play Wuthering Waves or something. And I was like, I is this like a... I thought in my head this is a typo of Wuthering. But it's not? <laughs> what is Wuthering Waves? Actually, it looks okay. What What is it? I don't know what that is. Earmark, money already spent that you don't have yet. But like, like a loan. Earmark is like assigning something. I think like allocating, allocating funds that you receive but don't spend immediately. What? I'm, I, can you guys give me an example of like a situation where 
you're doing it. Your mark is how farmers mark their livestock. Is that... That's probably where it originated from. I don't know if that's what people are talking about. Yo, it's a frost. Yeah, I'm a little early. I woke up and... I don't know. I woke up at an awkward time. So I don't really have a whole lot to do except get ready for stream. Because I couldn't do anything else with the time I had. And I just, I just decided to go live early. Not an Emily Bronte book. I don't know who that is. And I'm not a reader, guys, dude. I'm, I'm like such a... Not a reader. <laughs> I, don't I don't know how to explain it. Like, I... I read things, but not books. I read a lot of, like, articles... And stuff. But I haven't read, like, a proper book in a really long time. Earmark is another wor word for budget. Okay. Honkai. Yeah, they say the story's good. And I'm down for a good story. So, I felt like playing it. I installed it yesterday. But I'm not- I'm not gonna spend any money on the gacha. And I'm probably also not even gonna get to endgame. I just wanna sit through the story. Really. That's about it. Spending bills, they might earmark a certain portion of that money to be used towards a specific cause. They just allocate. It just means to allocate. Alright, you're a tortured artist now that gets no sleep. <laughs> Is that what I meant? Alright, I'm not- <laughs> You make me sound like Taylor Swift, dude. No, I'm just saying like... Like, okay, I... Last night, I was like... In a state of like mental despair. Not not despair. But like... My mind was like... Like way into like... Weird thoughts, right? And you know how, how Kanye... I'm just, I'm not I'm not trying to say I'm like Kanye at all. Like in the modern era, by the way. I'm, I'm trying to say, like, you know how Kanye was, like, yeah, like, m being mentally ill kind of, kind of helps him, like, make the stuff that he does? You know, I felt like that because, like, when I was, like, thinking all these, like, weird shit in my mind, I felt, like, I felt really, like, productive and creative. Like, I, I was making all these things, you know? So, so, in a way, like, the, the mental illness was, like, helping. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. That's all I was trying to say. Zeto having weird thoughts again? <laughs> this, is, this is not a weird thought. It's fine. <laughs> You're a VIP frost. Do something. I, uh, I checked. I have 50 VIP slots, and there's, like, 17 VIPs. So, we have actually a, a, a decent, like, over half of the spots are open. Um, and so, to kind of balance that out, I lowered VIP from 200k to 125k. So, it's still pretty steep, but very uh, attainable right now. You're right, you're like old Kanye. <laughs> Yeah, years from now, people will be writing fucking fan tracks about me saying they miss the old Zeto. The straight from the goat Zeto. <laughs> oh, audio's crackling. Hopefully that fixed it. He just doesn't want people to save points for unmasking him? Exactly. Dude, I gotta introduce all this, like, all these incentives to block you guys from actually giving out the money to <laughs> for those things. The crack was on the game audio, right? It's Is it fixed? Why am I doing chippy chaffas and TTS? <laughs> I could be saving for VIP. True! Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Fix now, okay. Thanks, guys. 
But yeah, what what was Wuthering Waves, by the way? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what that was. I'm trying to <laughs> wrap it back around to what we were talking about. Because I don't remember exactly what was said. It's just another gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Wuthering Waves. Okay, is that a game? Oh, it is a game. Whoa, it's like, it's actually an anime, another like anime, 3D anime gotcha. Why did they name it so weird? It's an open world gotcha game. Similar to Genshin Impact. Okay. Um, is this like, is this, is this, um, the, the same as the Genshin and Honkai makers or is it someone else? I don't think I'll play this one unless like, unless there's a lot of like hype and people say it's good, then I might try it. I just, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not really like looking to play gotcha games. I don't want it to seem like I'm playing gotcha games. I'm playing games that are good, you know, like I don't want to play Genshin anymore because I think Genshin is actually kind of bad. Like retrospective, Genshin I think was kind of a bad game. I don't know, um, I don't know if this is like necessarily like a hot take or anything. The open world aspect and everything for a game that was like just a gacha game was very good, right? Like among its peers, I thought Genshin was very good. But then you actually take into account like the end game content was like really lackluster. The grind was really bad. The story was like kind of shit. You know, like, I mean, I don't want to say the story is shit, but like the overall story is like, okay. They just like barely went anywhere overall. And that was like really annoying. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, you, you really didn't get much closure like from each expansion, right? Like you finish Mondstadt and that's like, it's like cool, but like you didn't get a whole lot of closure. It's like, okay, there's more you got to do. And then, you know, same with like Liyue, you know, and I, I thought the story was kind of bad in Genshin, but I, I don't know. Here's thanks for the first. Just another gotcha has been in the works for a while. Gotcha. Did I, I, I don't like yeah, that was not a pun by the way. But I don't like really keep up with game news much anymore. Like even games I like, I don't really keep up a whole lot. I just, I don't really play like new games recently. Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't say I've, I've, I've been doing that like my entire life at all, but especially now I don't really like play new games for the sake of playing new games. Kind of just play whatever's, whatever's out there. Um, like, whether it's old or new. But yeah, it's by a competitor. Okay. Genshin and Honkai are made by the same company. Yeah, Genshin and Honkai are both MiHoYo. Or uh, HoYoVerse or whatever they rebrand to. I think there's a decent amount of hype around it, but don't do it. Honkai is still way too fresh. Yeah, makes sense. I know the anime art style is like kind of generic, but like... I feel like it's it just looks the same, you know? Like... Come on, you, know, you can you can swap it up a little bit. Looks like they kind of just copied the art style. It's like um that that other one, Tower of Fantasy or whatever. That was like a Genshin clone. It's hard for me to take games like that seriously at all because it's just like it's it just looks the same. Whatever happened to? The like, what was it like blue? 
Blue Connect or something. I forget what it was called. There was like a 3D like MMO type anime type game a couple months ago. What did that game do? Maybe it was like a year ago. I don't remember. In today's Dark Era, we're getting retrospectives. I think like Genshin was very good for being free and stuff. I just think when you actually take a look at the game, there's not a whole lot of substance. Telling Usa you hate Genshin and VTubers and people in general. I I kinda hate Genshin. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I think I kinda hate Genshin. <laughs> like I poured my heart and soul into that game. And I'm starting to realize a lot of it was because I was kind of like s slaving away at the game because of the dailies and stuff. And not necessarily because the game was, um, was like really, um, that, that, like I wanted to play that game. Isn't this see something funny? <laughs> oh shit, this is so funny. Um Wait this. <laughs> Suspicious user. <laughs> Restricted in November 29, 2023, 2 or 4 PM ban in one shared channel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is because I, um, <laughs> it's cause, it's cause I banned Miko in Usa's chat yesterday. So, <laughs> so, uh, so it's saying <laughs> Miko got restricted. <laughs> like I banned, banned Miko in Usa's chat cause Usa was like, hey, ban Miko for like one second to see if you can ban VIPs or whatever. <laughs> So, so it's showing up as a suspicious user. Wait, what's up, Miko? Does Mihoyo mean Satan in Chinese? I don't know. It wasn't that what uh, Paimon meant. I don't know. It's not in Chinese, but like that's. that's it was a Paimon was like a devil. The big content creators around Genshin are insufferable too. Yeah, I can't really like re I I remember watching a couple when I when it came out or like yeah like when Genshin came out I remember watching a couple streamers but uh there are a lot of streamers that were like really fucking like content baity that that kind of pissed me off um I can name names but I remember there was a guy that was like one month after the game came out or something not one month it was like four months after the game came out. They made a video like, I'm quitting Genshin forever. And then they came back in like two weeks. It was just like, like, dude, shut up. <laughs> they, and, and the guy had spent like, a, like, not a thousand, like $10,000 on uh, gacha rolls at that point. I was like, this, this is just like so stupid. <laughs> why, why, I, mean, I know why he's doing it, but like, come on, dude. Like, make something of substance. Don't just, like, pump out garbage content. All anime looks the same. That's why the U.S. became the world's biggest exporter of anime a few centuries ago. No, but, like, I get that, like, anime games kind of look the same. But, like, even still, you can kind of tell the difference between something like, I don't know, like... Persona, right? Versus like versus Genshin. But like what I just saw with Wuthering Waves looked basically like Genshin and Honkai. So I don't that that's what I what I kinda meant by the art style. Miko's permit here? No, Miko's not permit. Miko just showed up as a suspicious user because I, um, I banned Miko for one second in Uzo's chat yesterday when Uzo was telling me to test out if you can ban, uh, VIPs. Yeah, yeah. 
Fun fact, not fun and barely a fact, suck it light is really slow. It only crosses 300M in one microsecond. In a vacuum. How sad is that? And that's the fastest we could ever possibly go. No one can see Miko's messages? Wait, really? Miko hasn't typed in a... since the wave. You, you, could you guys not see the, the waving? Wait, you guys couldn't see the waving? You didn't see the wave. How do I... <laughs> oh yeah, it says not publish to chat. How do I like allow that? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no, no, no. Miko's annoying, but not... Not not ban worthy annoying. Not yet. I believe in second chances. Unless you're like racist. But yeah, I I don't know. I it might be my like chat moderation settings. Settings stream like mod permissions moderation fan evasion settings okay I think it should work now Why do I know this song? This is the Final Fantasy 2.0 song Answers. Where you'd see uh, Master Louis Swa get fucking owned by Bahamut. It should be good now. Yeah, it's from FF14. Shut up, I haven't done that yet. There's no way- What do you mean you haven't done that yet, man? This is the fucking intro cutscene to the beginning of the game. <laughs> this is like literally the first thing that like anybody would ever be able to see. <laughs> what do you mean you haven't done that yet? This is how, like, it starts. I played FF14 during the original beta, come to think of it. Yeah, so this was the cutscene where, like, they reset the world. You know, like, a realm reborn because, like, they gotta destroy the world and remake it. I don't know, I haven't played much. Yeah, but it, it's literally the beginning. <laughs> come on. What do you mean you haven't played much? You got you gotta like literally have never touched the game ever. <laughs> For this to be a spoiler of anything. Even then it's not a spoiler, it's just how you how you were introduced to the game. A realm reborn is like three expansions ahead of where I'm you're just trolling now, dude. A realm reborn is fucking the first one, dude. What are you talking about? Is Miko actually here? Well, they haven't typed since. Like, that was the last thing they typed. I love that they literally destroyed the old world both in and out of game when they launched ARR. Yeah. It's... You know, there's a part of me that was like, I wish I kind of was like, I was there to witness it happen in real life. Or like, you know, in the moment, I guess. Uh, when it happened. Instead of like, watching the videos. But obviously, I wouldn't have wanted to suffer through playing 1.0, so... 
I'm not really, uh... I'm not, like, really wishing. It's just, like, a retrospective, like, in hindsight, I wish. Yeah, it wasn't even an expansion, really. Yeah, it's, it's like a wipe. <laughs> it just, it's just the base game. I just hated the original FF14. I stopped playing the beta. And I saw Pro Jared make a FF14 video that was like... I... I, uh... What was it? Like, I started... Or I played FF14 1.0 or something. But he played, was playing 2.0, I think. But I didn't, I didn't watch the whole video, though. So maybe I skipped something, but... I feel like the title was wrong. One point oh was actually a really, really fun experience, like being at the scene of a car crash. <laughs> Miko lives on in our heart. Now, I think Miko sometimes just comes in and say hi and then like goes to play Overwatch or something. Thanks for the song request, Super. Yeah, I saw some of the, like, some of the cutscenes they had in 1.0, but a lot of the cutscenes are just lost to time. Like, they don't exist anywhere. <laughs> Miko plays Overwatch? What? Clearly, you guys have never watched the Mika stream. I go in there sometimes, very rarely. You know what's funny? Miko's like a normal guy on his stream. Like in here, he's just always talking about how shit I am. There's like, I swear you guys are like super different in my chat versus like how you guys are normally. Like there's like a, like a face you put on or something. I don't know. He's so fucking normal, it's actually whiplash. Yeah, it's 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 odd seeing it, dude. Like you don't expect that to be how he is. Based off the fucking garbage he types in my chat. <laughs> You've never seen me outside of your chat, yeah, but I'm saying like a lot of people are that way. So I, I'm trying, I'm kind of betting that if I see most of you outside of this chat, you guys are just like normal. Even if you're like hella annoying in my chat. But if you're normal in my chat, I mean, I don't expect you to not, like not be normal, I guess. I haven't seen it that way around. I haven't seen like a normal person in my chat be like really fucking like annoying. <laughs> Chatter tearless based on how annoying they are. Uh nah. That that would be too personal. I don't want to make a tier list of anybody that, like, didn't sign up for it. So... And, and you know, you can get a little, like, too mean-spirited. I'm just a chill-ass viber. Dude, you used to be fucking hella toxic in my chat. <laughs> Seto supports consent. Yup. I be like that, man. So we have to opt into this tier list. But I don't really want to do tier list in general. Because it's... I don't know. I think tier list... 
can cause drama. Like, of real people can, can cause drama. And that's not something I want to deal with. For once? Does say for once, man. What do you mean, for once? I'm just trying out toxicity. Oh, it looks like I, it's like a free sample. But yeah. I'll license you the rights to use my name in a tier list for $300 per mention. I'm good, bro. There's only one streamer I'm mean to, but it's all just banter. Yeah, like, for the most part, when people are kind of like, you know, mean to me in my chat, I consider it banter. I will say the people who then come off still as toxic uh, are just bad at bantering. Um, you know, if you're like gonna banter, you also have to like consider if it actually truly is funny. Um, for the most part, I think uh, everyone does it well though. Some some people get on my nerves, but I, I let it pass for the most part. Zero has a good commentary voice, but he wouldn't get hype enough at crazy moments. Are you talking about my uh, my little commentary gig I did yesterday? I don't know how many people watched it. I uh, but I, I casted a Mario 64 tournament match. Yesterday, one one thing you know, I I I think um I'm not really like a commentator. Well, okay, so like I don't know how it is in the U.S. You know, culturally there's differences and stuff, but in Japan, <laughs> Rob, thank you for the 20 months. Woman, 20 second ad, take my money, Jesus Christ. Thank you One for the shot. I appreciate it. Take my money, Jesus for evil. Christ. My my plan is <laughs> working. Yeah, but yeah, thank you, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the twenty months too. Um, I would have watched it if you said something. I said it in in Discord. I don't really like say it too much. Um, overall, but yeah, I um, what was I saying? So I casted a match yesterday. And I personally, what I, so, so, okay. I was talking about cultural differences in Japan. When you have a commentary booth, there's usually someone that is a color caster and then someone who is an analyst, right? And considering that one English is not my main language. It's not my first language. Um, and two, I'm not known for my most <laughs> exhilarating voice. I try to fill more of an analyst type role, um, going into the, the casting. I didn't really communicate any of this, so that was probably my bad, but that was what I was, what I, what I was going for. And, and so I kind of was talking, you know, I, I wasn't like trying to get too hype in those moments and I try to let other people fill in. Um, barring some exceptions. But that was the idea I had going into it. I haven't joined a Discord in years. Yeah, you know, just like small things, you know, I don't really want to like make a spec spectacle of some, some of the things um, I do, you know, and... It is a big deal that I, I was in, I was casting for that tournament, but I also didn't know about like saying that like every single stream at every, every waking moment. But so I kind of just opted to make a, an announcement in Discord and, you know, where it kind of just like stay there permanently. Um, instead of like, I don't know, make like a night bot 
timer. Yeah, you're a POC color caster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. <laughs> I guess. I guess, man. I, there's surely. Actually, you know, there is like a. Outside of like Japanese, like com the Japanese community, there's actually kind of a lack of like Asians in the speedrunning community. Like, I can't really think of a whole lot of Asians that speedrun outside of Japan. Like in in like the U.S. community, I I I actually can't think of a lot of Asians that like speedrun. I don't have Discord on my laptop. That's fair. I didn't really use Discord much until I made my um. What? Well, I did use it for a bit, and then I didn't really use it at all for a while. Like back in like twenty like. 16 and stuff i used discord a lot and then after that i kind of stopped using it and then i made my server and then i started using discord a lot more ctas are minimalistic what's cta did you watch any of the other casts after no i didn't i probably should to kind of like pick up on things that they do well huh but yeah, I don't even know if I'm <laughs> casting another match, so... That might just be the end of the Zeto casting era. Call to action. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I guess it's a call to action. Go watch a stream. But yeah, I was casting on Lucky Owl 360 stream yesterday. Speedrunning seems like an Asian activity. Why do you think that is? Uh, I guess why, like, there's not a whole lot of Asians in speedrunning is because Riot Games kind of has a monopoly on esports within the, the West. So, any Asians that are not, like, and even, I mean, in, in general, I guess. So, most Asians, but, like, especially, you know, the ones in, in the US, you know, like, you're kind of just naturally gravitating to riot games um games if you're asian how did you communicate with all your fans before discord youtube comments i didn't really have fans i mean i don't know i had fans but, like, my YouTube activity was not necessarily the most active, like, at any point in my life, so... Yeah. Most speedrunners are Jap Japanese or American, in my experience. I've seen a couple of Koreans, but not many. Yeah. Like, mo you know, if you're, like, Chinese-American uh, or Korean-American or, like, Chinese or Korean in general... You just go for Riot Games games. Korean gaming culture is way more competitive in an adversarial sense, not like solo competitive, I think. Well, they have like StarCraft, or they used to, anyway. Or I guess I'm, I'm not really sure what you mean by adversarial versus solo. More about competing against others than oneself. Oh, I see. Like, a PvP versus what speedrunning is, which is, like... So, like, something like fucking soccer versus, like, track. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I also think it's, like... It's Nintendo... So, it's not like a really Chinese or Korean thing as well. Riot has a stronghold on Asian Americans for sure, man. <laughs> Dude, it's like if you're Asian and you don't play a Riot Games game, you're just like, what do you do in America, man? I've... Like, if I didn't have League of Legends, I would have been so, like, out of place in the U.S. Like, when I went to the U.S. Man, 
imagine Frost being the first user fan joining Discord since the beginning? The first person that was in the Discord was Coyote. Because Coyote was the one... Coyote was like solo in my Discord, or like solo in my streams. And then Coyote was like, hey, you should make a Discord. And then I was like, well, I don't know about making Discord. You know, I don't really have anybody that watches my streams. You know, it'd be kind of dead and empty. Uh, but after... I don't know, after I got like... I was able to reach like five consecu uh, consistent like viewers pretty like consistently. Um, Cody kind of convinced me and I was like, okay, I'll make a Discord. Um, and Cody was the first one in. I would think. I'm not sure if he was literally the first one, but he was one of the first ones. The original OG. I don't know who the original OG is at this point anymore. Like, there's, I've, I've had so many different eras of content creation at different levels of like, <laughs> like, uh, seriousness that I don't know what to consider as like real and not. But yeah, Coyote's definitely uh, been around for a while, which I appreciate. I hate League and Valorant. Am I a race traitor? No, I don't think so. I don't really like League that much. I don't want to say League is a bad game, because, like, obviously, you know, it has, like, so many players, right? So they're succeeding at, at some aspect. Um... It's just not enjoyable, and it seems like a lot of people don't find joy in that game, but like I don't think it's necessarily like a bad game, you know? Like, you don't get to that point of enjoyment without it with, uh, while being a terrible game. Um Chat Fwens is real for being here. And I appreciate everybody that comes in my chat. It's it's really I don't know. It's kind of surreal that people are here to like just just be in my chat, you know? That's that, that's always crazy to me. So I never want to take that for granted. I, I appreciate everybody a lot. League and Valorant are both great games. I just hate the people. No, for sure, dude. Okay. Like, you you see, like, League Twitter or, like, Valorant, Valorant Twitter. And it's just, like, pure degenerate. Like, all these people are, they, they're, like, fucked in the head. And I don't mean, like, mental illness. Like, they're, they're just, like, they, they have, like, a warped sense of, like, reality, dude. Like, they're, they're just, they're just fucked in the head. I don't know. Right? Like, there's no way, like, those people that are on those, like, Twitter circles are, like, fucking, are, are mentally okay. But I think League is... I think if, like, people that play League casually are definitely not, like, <laughs> like that at all. It's just, like, when you go too deep into League or Valorant, you just start losing brain cells or something. I don't know. And because League and Valorant are kind of, like, adversarial, and also, also, I think one thing is... A lot of, like, kids grew up playing League of Legends or, like, Valorant now, I guess. Valorant's been out for long enough. That, like, they, they were maybe, like, 14 and they were, like, 18 now, right, when uh, playing Valorant. That, um... I think they were never in, like, a real-life setting where they played... Games. Or not games, but, like, sports or, like, whatever. Where they had to deal with, like, real people in that way because there's no way that you're gonna act the way you do if if you played sports as a kid 
At least most, mo there wouldn't be this many people that would be acting. Like most people would not act the way they do. If you had to, if you had to play like sports as a kid. Like I don't play sports now, so I don't want to like judge people and be like, you got to go touch grass or whatever. Right. But like, if you grew up in a setting where like you're playing with other kids, if you act like an asshole, you just will not be able to find people to play with. But because of how League works and Valorant works, you can just queue up, right? You can be an asshole, it doesn't matter, and you just queue up for the next game, right? Um, and there's always going to be people that will play with you because that's just how the queuing system works for video games. So I think that's like a um, big reason why people end up the way they do because there's not enough they don't feel the consequence of being toxic like some people are like oh you know you can like you're just soft or whatever but like if you did that shit in real life like growing up like you just people will just stop hanging out with you <laughs> you know like no one's you're not getting you know you're not joining the fucking soccer game <laughs> That the kids are all playing. If you're acting like the way you do. You appreciate everyone that what in your chat? <laughs> that talks. Okay, that talks. Um, the chat was the best when it's only Minta being insane. We've had different eras of chat too, which is crazy. One day we could write like a lore book on the history of KTR Zero chat. I don't enjoy playing MOBAs, but I think League is a good game. Valorant is complete trash though. What? I, I guess one thing, I talked about Valorant a little bit. Like it feels a little soulless. Um, like they do a lot of things good. Or like, well, sorry, not they do things good. They do, they do a lot of things well, but Valorant has that problem of they're just like, it just doesn't have a lot of like soul in it. I don't know. I think it's like the, the settings of the world and stuff. Like it's just not, just kind of like, you're just going to do this, you know? Like you don't really have like a reason. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. A lot of games that like, or just like put a bunch of characters and make them like PvP each other. Kind of run into this problem where like it doesn't, it's not actually like a justification for why you're doing the things you're doing. And it just ends up being a little weird. That's, that's my, that's my take on it anyway. It's like, why, why is this character, you know, fighting <laughs> this other character? I think like fighting games and stuff handle it pretty well, where they're just like fighting, you know, it's like, this is what they do. But like, why is this, why is this guy like killing other people, you know, <laughs> in a PvP game? It just doesn't really make sense. I think we need government IDs linked to gaming and the internet so people can opt out of interacting with kids and vice versa. Well. Okay, my take on this is that, like, this is kind of why free-to-play games are not, like... Where, like, why free-to-play games kind of breed toxicity. Is because you can always just m make another account. And if you had to pay, you can't do that. So, like, free-to-play games undeniably have... Uh, like a decline in quality if they were paid and then they go free to play or just are like in general get a debuff from being free to play uh, because they will get a lot of people to start signing up and playing in the first place but you know there's a general problem of toxicity and stuff that can just happen That's why you kind of need to like tie a lot more shit to your account to be like, you know, I accomplished so much that I don't want to, I don't want to let go of this account, right? Um, that people care more. Usa, thank you for the 32 months. Hey, I'm home. Say okaeri. 
Bye, I'm out. Say Okiri. Okiri. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's not on Spotify. This is good enough. Yeah, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 32. That's almost three years, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, almost three years? That's crazy. This is one of my favorite songs. I never played on stream. Crackle. God damn it. You <laughs> said so there were consequences to banning Miko. Yeah, there were. <laughs> Never sub, never donated. Have you actually never subbed yourself? And you have 13 months? This song is so nice. It's a Pocky. You remind me of an uncle back in Tokyo. Was your, like, you have an uncle in Tokyo? Was your uncle like 13 months of gifted subs? It shows how many people <laughs> give subs in my chat. I appreciate it a lot. I don't know if I talk about it enough, but... You know. Because I don't want to sound like I'm fake or whatever. But I appreciate it a lot for all the subs. One of these days, I want to do a video on like... Or not a video. A, a stream where... I react to the whole three hour video of how uh, invisible walls work by Patton. Just watch the whole video on stream. I think it would be fun. Why did I dodge it? I need I needed that last coin. He had the same voice and it was the pickled one? What does the pickled one mean? I mean three or three is Giga Chan for 13 months of gifted subs. Yeah, I I don't know how <laughs> I three or three, when did you follow? You followed in 2021. November 17th. So it's been like two and a half years. So you've been gifted for basically like a little under half. Okay, that's that's believable. Yeah, what does pickled one mean? So the pickle one, the quickest G on the street. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> what 
When I hear G, it's usually the shorthand for cockroach in Japanese. Because it's... Gokiburi. Is how you say cockroach. So it starts with the G. So and sometimes people don't want to say cockroach because it's like kind of gross. Some, I've heard girls say George instead of... <laughs> like as an extension of that too. Instead of Kokiburi, they say Joji. <laughs> Poor Georges around the world. Being equated to cockroaches. <laughs> Said it was the quickest cockroach on the streets. <laughs> I scuttle around. Looking for any bit of succor. This is Sakamoto Maya. She's so pretty. I don't really, uh, listen to her music much, but I, I do like this song. I'm not very knowledgeable about, like, artists and anything, or anything like that. I would say it was, like, I know some artists, but it was mostly recently where I kind of started paying more attention. Kristen, sorry, I'm going to cancel my auto renewal for Zed Hope for God again, Cap. Thank Someone you for the 12 months. My auto renewal for Zeto. I forgot again, Kappa. And thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate it. One full year. Minus 12 months. Minus $72. <laughs> but no, thank you uh, a lot for the sub. Thank you for all the subs today. Appreciate it. No, no, his brother was the cockroach, the survivor of many. It was my uncle, the pickled one, who was the quickest. They called it a pickled one, as in ancient times, merchants would often race to pickle various vegetables in a region to sell. I'm still not understanding exactly what's going on with this pickled analogy that your uncle had means. <laughs> Like, he was very sought after by by people. Is that what you mean? Like, he was popular. So it's like, you're saying I was like your uncle as in like I was popular? You run Mario, man. You're the pickled one. Yeah, but I don't... <laughs> is, is it just me? Does everybody else understand what, what he's talking about? <laughs> I don't... Am I, am I just stupid? I think he's just saying you're fast, perhaps you are a speedrunner. But, but he said his brother was... Oh, wait, no. The pickled one who was the quickest. Oh, you're saying I'm fast. I'm fast in all aspects of life. Yep. That's me. I'm hella fast. I have a collab for a little good luck on the collab. What's, uh... I don't know. Do you have to go now? I'm not gonna ask if you have to go now. But what's it about? I'll probably be done in time for Star Rail so I can backseat and mod. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should also do shoutouts. Who are all the people that came in to chat today? Evan, thank you for the 16 bits. Oh, that's not good. I'm dead. My job? <laughs> okay, go do your collab. <laughs> go. Happy birthday to me. Oh, now the Roach would be more of a casual enjoyer of deeper virtual games. For example, those who play Mario for the enjoyment. Okay. So they're doing roll call? Yeah, I guess. You know, any, any other, like, streamers that came in here? I don't... I don't remember who came in. Yeah, go check out Kristen. 
Another Mario runner. Back from a little break. I thought a roach would enjoy survival horror. What is a survival horror game? Like Resident Evil, I guess? Is that a survival horror? Resident Evil? Yes. That's what my mind went to, too. I don't stream a lot, though. I'm hella busy. No, I get you, man. I'm, um... I am, uh... Burning through the candle of my life to uh, produce content right now. They asked, no, they called those the chosen G's of Rhodes, the few path takers of fearful endeavors. <laughs> Sounds so grand. <laughs> candle smell good? Yeah. No, that's... I'm burning through the candle of my life to produce content. Which smells good, right? It's pleasant. The content is pleasant. So hopefully, you know... Um, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff with YouTube and stuff. I'm trying to make more content again like I was last year. So hopefully, um... You know, hopefully people enjoy it. I'm starting to understand, like, how to make videos a lot more entertaining. So I'm, I'm kind of getting that grasp. Like, the last video I made is doing pretty well. It's in that, like, 2,000 views. Pretty good for me. Um, and um, it's kind of flatlining at the moment. But also, the Suica video flatlined for about a week before it blew up to 50k. So perhaps this video will flatline for like a week and then we'll blow up to like 50k. Um, the click rate on it is like insanely high. It's like 10%. It's doing really well. So hopefully I can keep that up. Let me take a sip of water. Can you smell content? No, but it's a, it's a, it's an analogy. The content will be good, like how a candle will smell good. Burning the candle at both ends. I'm not saying like I'm like killing myself. I'm just saying like I'm exerting a lot of effort. Right. If I say burning through the candle of my life, it sounds a little... It sounds a little extreme. But I'm, I'm basically saying, like, I'm optimizing my workflow and everything. Because sometimes I kind of take a break. Um, or like I procrastinate a lot. So I'm, I'm kind of just like going all out. When I have the creative flow. Now I want to light a candle. Candles are nice. I'm always afraid though with anything with fire, so I don't really like want to light a candle myself. But, like if I go to like a girl's room and they have candles, I like them. There's just no way I'm responsible enough <laughs> with a candle myself. So, okay, we're all burning the candle at the same rate that time will pass regardless. True. Go on, Zeno. Go on with what? Some of us longer than ca candles than others. True. Well, I, I think maybe not at the same rate, just because if you work harder, you're probably like burning through it a little quicker. Um, if you're not getting like adequate rest, but this is uh, this is all an analogy, so don't don't take it too serious. It's not it's not meant to be too deep. 
kind of, I don't know, poetic. When you go to a girl's room and she has candles lit. Yeah, I like the candles. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't want to talk about anything else in, in that. I'm, I'm not talking about anything else in that. In that, like, scenario. I'm just saying, I like the candles. That was just my first example that, that like, popped in my head where I would see a candle, man. Come on. Where else do you see candles? You don't really just see candles out and about. It's not fucking the 1800s pre-electricity. When Zeta dresses to fade in black clothing as a symbol meaning he needs a candle light to find his way back again. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wear black. Who's... Cause I'm trying to find my way back, you know, I need my light. That's why, that's why I'm wearing, uh... Why I'm wearing white pants. <laughs> wearing white pants? How do you like the fit? Fit check. I can never fit my whole, like, fit into the... Into the frame. Do a spin. Like, out of the chair. Truly a pickled fit, thank you. Full fit check. KTR Z drip. Is it, is, this, is it like this? Two shirts in the house though, is it cold? This is a tank top. So it's, it's not actually two shirts. I do the same thing when I, I don't wear flannels really, but if I wear like a, imagine like a flannel shirt, like just a shirt on top, I'll wear a tank top below. So it looks like I'm wearing a white shirt and then I'm wearing a, a shirt with open, with an open, um, buttons in the middle. It'll look like I'm wearing a shirt below, but it's actually just a tank top. Little, little hack, little clothing hack. If you want to um, wear a shirt in that way, but it's too hot to do, to wear double layers. He's figured out how layers work. <laughs> yeah, we live in a 3D world. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Impressive for a man who claims to be straight. <laughs> what that I I'm like thinking about fashion choices. A new shirt I bought is actually um coming in uh soon. You guys want to see? Now I do feel I do kind of get what you mean though. Like sometimes I um. I like talk about like my interests and stuff and then so thing so some people would be like like you're like so, like I've had someone call me recently I'm fucking gay coded <laughs> which is I guess it just means like my interests are like not very straight sometimes gauge not just thinking but actually thinking good thoughts <laughs> oh yeah 
It's uh, it's interesting. All my friends RL are women, and everyone thinks I'm gay. Age, dude. My parents for the longest fucking time thought I was fucking gay till I, <laughs> till I show them my girlfriend once. <laughs> <laughs> I was like fucking 17 and I was like yeah I'm going out with with someone like with, with a girl and they were like what what you're not gay <laughs> like come on man come on it's fucked up dude <laughs> Uh, no, it's just like, I never talked about, like, interest in, like, people, like, ever, like, relationships-wise, or anything like that. So they, they thought, like, I was keeping it a secret because I was, like, in the closet or something, like, I didn't want to come out or whatever. But no, it just, like, I, d I didn't want to talk about, like, feelings and shit in general. <laughs> and so, and so they thought I was gay. All right. Um, can I show this without leaking my info? I can. I bought this shirt, which is this supposed to uh, get here soon. It's kind of like this mesh shirt. Thoughts? Actually, this exact same thing happened to me. Best viewers on Erdler.me slash KFC YFC Pog Champ Pog. Wow, sign up now, best viewers. I like the texture and silhouette. Yeah. I kind of want pants like this. Actually, I did get pants like this. Um, or like I, I, I didn't get them. I have pants like this. Um, I'll probably replace this inner with a with a tank top. I will. I don't know. I, I'm thinking wearing black on top uh, below or white below. Like I think both work. So. I think it's it's pretty good. But yeah, I don't know. That's that's my uh that's my future little thing I'm looking forward to. I pre order that shirt. <laughs> Acting up viewers at twitch.tv says keep your zero. <laughs> Button up or unbutton? I think it'll just depend on like what I'm wearing. So like I think if I wear black I'll probably button up like three, you know, like and leave this kind of very open. Um, I don't know. I think it'll be, oh, there'll be a lot more like, like this area kind of open. Um, obviously I have a shirt underneath. It's not like you're seeing my like chest, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this area will kind of be a lot more open. Yeah. Not, I, I might not do completely on button. I mean, it, it'll just bend, you know? I mean, that's like the thing, right? Like, if you even if you're wearing the same shirt, like, depending on if it's buttoned or unbuttoned, you kind of can do different vibes. And I think, um, like, sometimes I work, wear my, um, like, work, like, collared shirt casually. Um, be, and I'll just leave it unbuttoned. So, it can kind of just work however you want it to. Your titties will not be out? True. I don't have titties. <laughs> Sadly, I don't... I don't... <laughs> I'm flat. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Those 
Those pants are huge. I mean, these pants are also huge. That I'm wearing right now. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, these pants open up a lot. It's just kind of the fashion now. Black and white do always work. Yeah, if, if anyone... If anyone thinks, like, oh, I can't get into fashion, or like, oh, I don't know what to wear to, like, look cool or whatever, all right? Literally, literally, okay? Get a plain black shirt can be short sleeve or long sleeve and like black pants or whatever or or get a white shirt and then black pants right and and just just do that right like you will just look good everyone i swear everyone looks good monochrome um and then like muted colors as well also just looks good fashion advice with zeno like, I'm not very good at fashion, but if you're getting into it, just monochrome is a fucking life hack, okay? If you're trying to look good in any situation and you're just not used to trying to, like, present yourself, just, just, just wear black and white. And, and fuck, fuck hoodies, okay? Hoodies are good for, like, comfort wear, but if you want to, like, go look good, just wear a shirt. Just wear a shirt. Doesn't have to be like just just something like this. Like that's what I'm literally doing right now. I'm wearing a black shirt. I just bought a Ludwig hoodie. <laughs> well, okay, like hoodies. I I don't want to say hoodies are like uh, unsavable. It's just you know you gotta like it's hard to like m make yourself stand out. There's it, you can't you just end up being a little generic if you wear a hoodie nowadays because everyone's fucking wearing a hoodie. So I'm a little anti hoodie in that in that way, but I still wear hoodies sometimes just like in my own room um, if it's like cold and I need something to wear. I still wear my Miku hoodie. So hoodies are not like completely destroyed. Especially if you have like a zip up hoodie that's like oversized, I think that's still very much in. Just don't put the white shirt on top if you are of the larger sort. Hmm, I never really thought about that. I don't I guess. Is it like it bleeds through? Zebra print got it. Yeah, no, like one one thing that like Like, graphic tees are not good. This was something I learned very early on when I was, like, looking at fashion. I was like, yeah, graphic tees just are not... They, they just don't work, man. <laughs> if you want to look good, wear a shirt. Yes. Just wear a normal, plain-as-fuck white shirt or black shirt. It's hard to do white pants. Because a lot of times, you wear white pants, you end up looking like a tryhard. So, like, you gotta, like, white, white pants, or, like, these are slacks. So, white slacks are, and, like, white stuff in general tend to be more on, like, the formal or, like, cleaner side. So, then you kind of want to, like, balance it out, you know? Like, my black shirt looks pretty casual. So, then if you combine black shirt with white pants, it doesn't look, like, super try-hard, you know? But if I wore, like, a collared shirt on top and then white pants, I'd look like a fucking dad, you know, that's, like, fucking going out on a Sunday with, with, with their baby, you know, child and his wife. Um, that, that's gonna, that just is, like, going out after church or something. We need a quote command that saves these little gems and calls them randomly. I, mean, I guess that's just the clip command. Because your boobs and fat rolls create shadows on the white shirt and it's very obvious. I learned this early. <laughs> yeah, I've... I've just never had to deal with that, I guess, so I, I never really thought about that.
Um, but if you wear baggy, that probably is not too much of an issue. Because this shirt, like, I have a good, like, I could stick my arm up in here and there's, like, a big... You know, there's a good amount of space between my chest and the shirt, right? Like, it's very baggy. So, if that's kind of an issue, just wear uh, a bigger shirt. If it was in, like, 2016, a lot of stuff was, like, very slim-fitting, but... Nowadays, it's not so much. So you can kind of get away with it. White stuff is on the cleaner side. <laughs> or like, formal side. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, form, it ends up looking a lot more formal. I did the black turtleneck sweater and black blazer jacket last year and everyone always kept complimenting on my fit. Fashion is so weird. Yeah, like, see, like, I'm just wearing a shirt, you know? If you just wear, if you just wear... Or, like, I remember, I remember one time I did that. I did the turtleneck into a, um, into a collared shirt over combo. And, and Rich said, I don't want to sub to you because you look like you're, you're, like, too finely dressed or something. <laughs> Yeah, Miko is a normal streamer and really nice on stream too. <laughs> why did you ban him? What? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> what? Miko is a normal streamer and really nice on Miko stream. Kind of a jackass on my stream. <laughs> There's a really big, like, divergence, dichotomy in how people act on stream versus, or like in, in my chat versus on their stream and stuff. I, I kind of remember Squeaks talking about this now that I talked about it. Like, there was like a couple that was like, always shitting on squeaks in chat and then they streamed and then squeaks went in and then and then uh and then they're like a like the most wholesome couple that you could ever imagine i was like oh my gosh guys it's squeaks go say hi or whatever so i think there's like a very like uh i don't know like people act way differently some people act way, way differently Divergent dichotomy. <laughs> yes, I sound very smart because I use those words. Make sure it's a super long red power tie like you know who. I don't own a red tie, actually. I own a blue tie and a black tie. <laughs> it's the only ones I wear. But yeah, I only banned Miko because uh, Usa told me to ban Miko. So I shouldn't be getting blamed for this at all. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. All right, let's do runs. If Usa told you to jump off a bridge, but, but, this this isn't that serious all right if your mom told you to go buy groceries you do it okay but if your mom told you to kill yourself you wouldn't kill yourself all right i'm trying to make a daily like claim command but i don't know how to do it like you get like a bunch of coins Daily. But I don't know how you do it. Alright, I haven't ran I haven't done runs in like months. <laughs> Hopefully this goes well. It's me, Mario.
Okay, you gotta commentate your runs for practice? I mean, I already do that. Or you mean like... Like in third person? That that's, doesn't even make sense. Like... And Zeto fails the jump, falls into the abyss, and loses 15 seconds. Like, I, I don't think that works, dude. Time to de-rust? I guess. I mean, I've been playing the game for a while, so... It's not like pure de-rusting, but... Yeah, I haven't like sat down and just like stuck with a run that long. I thought Usa was still in the collab. <laughs> this motherfucker typing join while she's in a collab. <laughs> I thought Frost said none. So <laughs> runs are diff. Yeah. I mean, you gotta hold your, um, like, you gotta hold your emotions when you're, like, on PB pace. Overall, though, you know, my practice kind of should pay off here. Good first run. It happens, okay? It happens. What's the first thing that came to mind? A failure and not a success? What, for runs? I mean, just running, speed running in general is like 99% failure, 1% success. Actually, that's kind of generous. It's probably like 99.9% .9 failure, 0.1% success. You do so many attempts, and almost all of them fail. I'll hit it here, though. It's always a success if you do your best. True. Keep splitting there when I shouldn't. <laughs> I split there on 16. So that's why. Okay, I might be rigged to win at this point, but I'm alright with it. Now we all hit the reversion to the mean eventually. Okay, I only lost like point, point 0.4 seconds on the slide. That took every last ounce of positivity I had left for the day. <laughs> Nightbot winning is so wrong. Blame Usa. I didn't set that up. Oh. Go, go, go. Freaky not having the time pop up in game. So I don't know what pace I'm at. <laughs> as 
long as this ends on like a 411 on the fade out. This is good. Alright, that was pretty good. It does create a fun for people to take from though. That's true. But I could also just always like give points to Nightbot. World record pace. <laughs> no, we're already like 30 seconds behind. <laughs> Here we go. For trials. First try, Cannonless 2. You know, if we kind of ignore the first run that fell into the moat, and we consider this the first run, pretty good first run so far. What's up, Robo? I can't blame Usa, she has a sword. I do not wish to get stabbed. It's okay. I will protect you with my shield. What other run? I saw no other run. <laughs> exactly. The other run was obviously stick drift, yes. It's crazy how like every modern controller I've had, except the GameCube controller, is stick drifting. What is going on, bro? Well, except, except one. I have one controller that's not sick drifting. Modern controllers are made like trash. Like there, there has to be something going, going wrong. They're breaking too quickly. Okay, that was a terrible. I lost a full second on that. Oh my god. Do a ground pound, man. <laughs> Alright, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting too... Uh, you know, all these like segment runs I'm doing where it's like I'm gonna play perfect for like 14 minutes. It's making me a perfectionist. That was almost really bad. It's okay. I didn't practice this stage today. I didn't do throws either. You normally set your sensitivity to high on controllers. I don't really fiddle with the settings on controller games. How's the new controller you received from streamer Y? Okay, I actually don't know. Like, usually when you say streamer Y, you mean Yuta, but... I didn't receive shit, <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. 
Good RNG. And then I kill it. <laughs> and then I kill it. It's me, Mario. It was a Dinta with the controller gift? Yeah. But also, that was like... When we played Outer Wilds. That was... When did we play Outer Wilds? That was like... A year ago. <laughs> Streamer R? I mean, he's not even really a streamer. He streams sometimes, like, on occasion, but he's not really, like, a streamer. But yeah, the only controller that hasn't drifted is this one. That, um... That Frost recommended I buy. The Ghoulie Kit controller. That's the only one that hasn't stick drifted. My Logitech stick drifted. My Elecom one that Ninta gave is stick drifting. The PDA controller I bought is uh, stick drifted. My Joy-Con stick drifted. It's actually insane. Like, they're, they must be using some faulty tech or something. I don't understand how it's so bad. Not really a streamer, R. <laughs> You'll never drift? Yeah, because this one's like... Uses different tech, right? I don't know what all the other controllers use. I still use the PS4 controller I bought for Dark Souls on my PC without any issues. Am I just getting really unlucky? The GC controller will probably never drift. It's hardware difference in the in the gates. They just need to do what the, the GameCube controller did for sticks. Hall effect. Lost two Xbox controllers, the stick pressing for running acted up. Yeah, I think we're just... I think I just got really lucky. You're like in the upper deviation bound. Am I in the normal, like... Am I... A standard deviation of zero, or am I a standard deviation of like minus one? Are the controllers that bad or am I getting, is it like bad and also I'm getting unlucky? Cause I've gone through like four controllers or three controllers in like a year. And I don't even play that many games. Like most of my gaming is on the N64. I sometimes dabble in PC games, and I sometimes, for those PC games, also happen to use a controller, you know? Or like Switch games, and then I use a... Use a controller, or whatever. Real gamers manhandle their sticks. <laughs> now, like, on- when I play Smash, you kinda have to for like, SDI. So, the stick, I handle pretty rough on the GameCube. Um, which also kind of makes it like the weak point of a GameCube controller, even though the sticks are like pretty good. It's still probably like the first thing to start just breaking. <laughs> that was too rough on a stick. Yeah, you know, just it is it is just it doesn't even feel good anymore. The stick's too rough. Showing its age. Will we ever get to a point where we can like do cyberpunk shit and like replace our body parts? That'd be kinda cool.
Yeah, augmentation, like Deus Ex. What are you looking to replace, Zeto? I mean, I know I brought it up in the course of, like, talking about sticks. But, like, I just mean in general. <laughs> I don't know. What if I had, like, a fucking mechanical heart, dude? That would never fail. Wouldn't that be kind of sick? I would never have to worry about dying from heart failure. Things that follow Diana... Appreciate it. Welcome in. Hope you enjoy your stay. Like the six million dollar man? What is that? I haven't heard of that before. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, I guess, but like you could, you know, you could just get like, um, you could get it maintenance every like. I don't know, like once a year or every couple of years or whatever. Wouldn't that be kind of sick? It would be nice to have replaceable parts. Yeah. I mean, it definitely help like people with like disabilities for sure. But also, just like in general, would like make your lifespan longer, right? The six million dollar man is a fictional character portrayed by actor Lee Majors in a popular 1970s TV series. Plays astronaut Steve Austin. Who is rebuilt with bionic implants after a near fatal accident giving him superhuman abilities. This is this is Adam Jensen. This is actually Adam Jensen. Is Adam Jensen the modern six million dollar man? Because when you think about it, six million dollars for that kind of tech is actually pretty small. <laughs> Not that big of a um, amount of money. Agree. It's more pleasant to go from disabled to not disabled. <laughs> See? Crazy, I know, but like, you know, this is the kind of, like, revelation you get out of my channel. Like, I- I'm- it's so profound. It's crazy the <laughs> level of commentary I'm able to provide here. Elon Musk's Neuralink has already implanted a brain chip in a human and limb prosthetics are being more technologically advanced. Yeah, I saw the Elon thing with, like, a guy playing Mario Kart. Not- not particularly well, but, like, still being able to control the game. That was pretty cool. The first thing that, like, um, I thought of when I saw that, and this is, like, really fucking stupid, and I, I'm kind of ashamed of myself for thinking this, but, like, was, like, damn, like, you could, like, hook up, like, macros in your brain. <laughs> you know? Like, you wouldn't have to push the buttons. You could just think, the like, a combo sequence. And like a game would just do that for you. Like, where's the, where's the difficulty in the tech, dude? <laughs> like, I'm trying to do a, you know. I'm trying to do a speed kick in Mario, and then it'll just <laughs> it'll just happen because I thought about it, which is just like uh, fucking absurdly stupid. Like, who cares, right? Like, like it's a it's a fucking human advancement that like helps disable people. And my first thought is like, oh, it's gonna be cheating in video games. <laughs> it's so stupid. I thought about that.
Like, what am I fucking? What if I'm like PVPing in in a in League of Legends and the, the fucking motherfucker does a insect combo on me, <laughs> dude? And the, but they're not even like that good, you know? Like, it's like who cares? <laughs> who actually cares? What if this disabled guy has a fucking better <laughs> PB and Mario than me? Cause he just he just thought about <laughs> doing the comp doing the route better in his head. <laughs> yeah, brain rot, dude. The best players will be those who have the fastest synaptic responses or who buy the best hardware. Yeah, I think that is something that like kind of is going to phase out sports and, or like competition and stuff. Or at least there's going to be like, there's going to need to be like really strict rules on how competition gets handled and stuff regarding, you know, prosthetics and, and whatever. Cause like right now they're clearly just a detriment, but at some point they're gonna start. And really, like I don't care because I'm not in competition really. But like, and I probably you know I'm not gonna be young enough where I'm gonna be like competing against people and it's gonna be like a huge problem for me. But you know, at some point the world is gonna have to like deal with or reconcile with like augmented people, I guess. And like how how that's gonna interact with different types of competitions. For me, it was intellectual property. You know how art programs are saying they can unilaterally decide to use your art to train their AI models. Like how exams only allow certain kinds of calculators. What's up, Gona? Um, I get what you mean. Like, what if they take? the neural information and train like or like use your data is that like a breach of personal privacy because it's you know really really kind of getting a little you know philosophical or whatever but like your body is like <laughs> your body's a temple <laughs> you know like it's it is kind of like the last bastion of like true freedom you have or like true ownership you have over something is your body because like you could say you own an object and you do but like you know whether you own money or not like it's literally up, like apart from you so but your body is a part of you so if they start fucking taking information from within your head you know that would be pretty fucked up I've never done a hookah. What is what is hookah? It's like smoking or something, right? Oh, it says Honkai. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Honkai after this. It's gonna be chill. We're not gonna play like super long, I don't think. I mean, we'll I, we'll kind of just play by ear, you know. I, I don't know how long I want to play it or anything like that. Some people argue that blade legs or blow knee amputees are already better than fully. I'm not continuing this. <laughs> Some people argue that blade legs for below knee amputees are already better than fully abled running. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, I mean, if it's getting there, it's getting there, right? It's kind of, you know, it's kind of nuts how, how kind of crazy it is. You own it until you wake up in that iced bathtub. <laughs> you have like some soma shit going on where you're just like they make a copy of your brain and then the copy wakes up in the future. Right, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back. Um
I don't really have anything <laughs> that I want to play before I go. So you guys uh, entertain yourself. No, not some of these nuts. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. You know, I should really get one of those like text games that are like... What is it like you... Um, I forget what it's called. It's like words on stream or whatever. But yeah, you're right back. I'll play ads while I'm gone. Um. I'm back. You timed yourself? Why? It's because I pressed like a reset timer uh, along with a console reset. So it just, I don't know. I didn't mean to time myself. I just kind of, it just ended up happening that way. <laughs> Speedrun? Did every motherfucker that's speedrun speedrunning peeing is doing the hand wash skip? 
but I'm a purist, okay? I I actually opt to not do the hand wash skip instead. <laughs> I will wash my hands. Everything Zeto does, he tries to be a little faster than the last time. <laughs> no, I... For real, though, like, speedrunning has kind of had, like, a profound effect on me in the way I approach life a little bit. You can kind of take like little lessons from speedrunning and kind of apply it to real life. Obviously, like Mario skill doesn't like translate to real life at all, <laughs> like in any way whatsoever. But like how you approach speedrunning, you could apply to a lot of different things in life. And if you kind of take things like that and try to kind of improve your life, I think you know, self-improvement wise, you do very well for yourself. Streamer, why? Streamer, why? Oh, to be able to clip through walls safely? Isn't there like a, isn't it like technically in quantum like physics, if like two molecules just line up perfectly, they can like pass through each other. So like, if you just like walked into a wall over and over for like forever, <laughs> like eventually, right? Like you would, you would just phase through the wall at some point. Like, I mean, like, a really, really, really long time. But that- that could possibly happen. With infinite time, it's probably possible. Obviously, we are all experts on quantum physics here in chat. I don't know. You guys teach me a lot of things I didn't know about the world, so... I just assume you guys already always have the answer to, to everything. <laughs> At least most things. Quantum tunneling. This sounds actually really cool. So we could quantum tunnel through a wall with enough time. What if we had like dream level luck? Zero is going to perfectly align all his molecules with his bed tonight and end up on the floor. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a sight to see? Here we go. What do you mean we can? <laughs> Well, I just mean like, you know, like, we all have the ability to do that thing. Guys, how about we all try, huh? Go to your, go find your nearest wall. <laughs> just, just keep walking into it. Eventually, one of us <laughs> might possibly perhaps have a chance 
to possibly uh, pull off walking through a wall. Let's all just keep trying, guys. Don't hurt yourself, though. New stream idea. <laughs> just, I walked into a wall until I phased through it. I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall most days of my life, so this sounds easy. <laughs> Aren't we all? It's one of those things you just, like, think about. Even though it's really dumb and pointless. <laughs> but it's always- it always sticks with you. It's like a cool what if. I'm just fucking up this movement here so bad. Last like three seconds. Unfortunate. 701 is continuable though. With infinite time, there is a theoretical chance you can pass through a wall. Yes! It's possible. You're saying there's a chance. Wait, I already did this star. I need to go for the box. <laughs> it's me, Mario. Come on. Get real, get serious. With enough apathy, everything is dumb and pointless. We gotta find a middle ground. <laughs> you know, I used to be like very nihilistic. I mean, I still am very nihilistic. But I've gone from like hopeless nihilism into like hedonic nihilism. Where it's like, yeah, none of this matters. So like, fuck it, you know? Try it anyway. But not like everything. Not- I'm not gonna try literally everything. I'll do it for like causes I deem worthy. I need to go for the box Zeto slogan. What- what could this be? That- that's bad. The box like a... Like a... Slaying for something. Zero is up for trying anything once. Not anything. No, anything that I deem worthy. Okay. Like, like I wouldn't try like meth. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't deem that worthy. Box is slaying for something. Wait, I'm actually not. What is, what is box slaying for? Like a cat who must jump into the box, like Schrodinger's? Yahoo! Yeah, I'm not- I'm not up for math. I don't know about you, dude, but I'm not- I'm not up for math. Box is slang for vagina? I actually never knew this. Wait, so then Hungry Box is like... Hungry Box's name is like a like a, um It's like 
I don't know, like a really slutty <laughs> vagina. Is that what that means? Are you down for meth? No, I'm not down for meth, man. Also, what's up, Eternal Blue Sky? How's it going? Well, that name is Forever Ruined. <laughs> Someone else must have thought about this at some point. It's I can't be the first one that, that ruined that name, like, ever. <laughs> but if I was able to reach this conclusion, someone else must have been able to. Something something Dentata. Holy shit. I never saw that movie. Has anybody actually watched Vagina Dentata? Does it mean that again? I don't really know or watch Hungry Vagina. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of ruined for me too. Dude, blame my brain for thinking about it, man. What did I jump? What did I jump? Well, I, I know why I jumped. But like, come on. I meant to push C. C down, C left. And I accidentally pushed A. I fat fingered. Zeto, the gotcha streamer. What's up, Noel? What the hell did I just walk into? We were talking about walking into walls and like how theoretically if we walked into a wall enough times the molecules will line up in a certain way that we could eventually give an infinite time walk through that wall and then we talked about how it's pointless <laughs> and then we talked about like Schrodinger's cat and then we talked about boxes and then we talked about box slang for vagina and then we reached the conclusion that hungry box means like a vagina that's hungry <laughs> and now we're here it's me, Mario. yeah let me do a, a, a shout out here. Oh. Shout out to Noel. Genshin Impact streamer. I was kind of shitting on Genshin. It's kind of shitting on Genshin earlier in the stream, but... Um, I don't know what the gameplay loop is like nowadays. I'm sure it's good. I, I don't sound very <laughs> convincing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go check out Noel. Cool guy. Also plays Nintendo games. I uh, was playing Wind Waker on the GameCube. That was meant to be played. <laughs> um, as well, so. You go check him out. I do kind of want to get my hands on a Wii U. It's probably dirt cheap right now. Probably get it really cheap and just... Because the thing with the Wii U is that you can play Wii games in HD on console. Yeah. 
Yeah, last time I checked, they were pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe I'll go and try to get a Wii U and do that. I mean, otherwise, it's kind of a trash console, <laughs> you know, like... There were some games that were just like kind of trapped on there that were good, but overall, there wasn't like a lot of games. I know there were like some exploits and stuff that people started posting as soon as the Wii U went offline. Because they're like, okay, there's no more possibility of patches for the Wii U. Let's all post the like exploits for the Wii U that we've been hiding so we can like make permanent modding solutions. So I'm sure there's like some good modding guides out there for the Wii U. Now, we'll have to see if the Wii U is popular enough for people to, uh, for people to like make servers for them, like custom servers for them, like they did for the Wii. It might not happen just because even with like the Wii's popularity, like people don't there's not like a billion players playing on the custom servers so nobody might find it like worth it enough to do it for the wii u oh. did you guys see like the recompilation stuff that's been happening for the happening for the n64 You can like play N64 games on PC with uh, like ray tracing and stuff turned on. That shit look crazy. <laughs> Welcome back, Nico. I think we have the 30 watch streak. Appreciate it. I saw that the other day. It looks sick. Yeah. You can turn ray tracing 120 FPS. You can kind of just like do it, which is really cool. It's me, Mario. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Ray Shadow Legend. <laughs> you get rays, ray tracing on. I was playing Majora's Mask recompiled for the PC right now. Yeah, it looks, it looks cool. I uh, joined the stream yesterday. And I was like... Which was that Tingle. She was talking to Tingle. Unfortunately, I'll probably never play it because I'm way too scared of copyright. <laughs> like, I will get assassinated by Nintendo legal team if I stream that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm I'm probably not gonna touch it. But look oh, cool.
Yeah, anything modding related to like Nintendo games, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna bother touching that because I'm just afraid. <laughs> it's, it's scary. Mainly because I'm in Japan. If I was streaming in like the US, I really wouldn't care that much. Because generally in the US, they're a lot less strict about copyright. And in Japan, they're more uh, strict. So that's why I'm a little more worried. It looks cool, but I don't want to risk messing something up and breaking my game slash console kappa. <laughs> Yeah, you know, turn it on. <laughs> I don't know if my N64 can handle ray tracing. <laughs> I gotta get the 64 DD. You guys probably don't even know what the DD is. <laughs> it's like a an add-on you had for the N64 console, where you like just kind of stack it on top of. The N64 and will like give you more like data. Basically, it was like an upgrade to the console. They already kind of have that with the uh, memory expansion pack, but there's also the DD. Yeah, it was a disk drive. Because one of like the biggest shortcomings of the N64 is kind of like console history for anybody that's interested. But like one of the biggest failures of the N64 was that they decided to go with cartridges in an era where they were moving to disks. Like like the you know, PlayStation was moving to disks. Um, you know, all the all the competitors were moving to disks, but Nintendo said, fuck it, we'll continue with cartridges. And it kind of bit them in the ass because you had like very low amounts of memory you could use. Keep fucking up. <laughs> I'm too late on the wall kick. God damn it. But like mods in general. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I, I think the recompiled is like very stable on uh, on PC. Like it's like more legit than um, than emulator or something like that. I don't really remember. I saw a couple videos on the recompiled stuff, but you know, I, I haven't, I, I don't like look to the code or anything, so. Oh my god. I'm taking fucking emotional damage. It's not even a big deal. I lose, I just have to reset for a minute. Like, I, I'm taking fucking emotional damage <laughs> messing up Black Deuce Skip. Super Mario 64 Ray Trace stream when? I can't. Nintendo's gonna kill me. <laughs> Nintendo would kill me if I stream that. And they found me. Yeah. Definitely looks cool. Mm -hmm. 
To be honest, though... This game's not gonna look that different. <laughs> There's no way that this game's gonna look different with, like, different lighting. Like, it's already kind of, like... You know, there's not a whole lot of lighting stuff going on. Really, the problem is the lack of polygons and, like, textures. So, unless we get, like, an upscale of Mario 64, it's always gonna look like shit, even with ray tracing. Just tell them, nuh uh. They're too strong. If they were to join Smash Brothers, they'd be S tier. You know what's crazy is like Nintendo's legal team has like fans. Like people like actually like root on the Nintendo legal team. It's like weird how some like I don't know, people will just go crazy over anything Nintendo, I guess. All I remember for N64 accessories is the rumble pack for the controllers and the RAM expansion. You have the RAM expansion in here, and I don't have the rumble pack, but there's also the DD. But the DD was like a massive failure, so they never actually like caught on. I swear there's a fandom for the weirdest things. I think... With the power of the internet and like memes... You can really like delude yourself into like supporting the dumbest things. <laughs> like there was like a... In FF14... There was... Um... This isn't really a spoiler or anything so don't worry. But... There's a... Um, a cutscene where one of the characters says, like, calls in on, like, a calm. It's like, this is blank. <laughs> and that's just it. Like, there's, there's no, like, punchline. There's no joke. He just says, this is, this is blank. I'm coming in or whatever. That's the whole, like, thing. And somehow the whole FF14 community deluded themselves into thinking that was funny and made, like, a whole joke out of it. Did we get the DD in the US? I don't actually know. Let's uh let's see. N64 DD. The N64 dynamic drive is a disk drive unit attached to a Nintendo 64 console. You can play games in a magnet disk format with the disk containing their own internal memory written through the N64 instead of the disk itself. Um I can't really find it. <laughs> I, Garland, will knock you all down. Was this like Sid's dad? I don't know this reference. Don't call yourself that, Zeto. I support you. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you saying? Please support me. I need your help. I need all your help. I need all the help I can get. $4,500? What, for the DD? Is that what the price is for? The crazy thing is, there's like no games that use the fucking DD. <laughs> yup, Jesus Christ. You can't even play anything with it. 
Like, the DD, as far as I remember, got delayed. And because of that, a lot of the games that were just gonna release was just, like, put on fucking cartridges anyway, and then the DD just... There's, like, no games on the DD. But apparently they were planning to make Super Mario 64 2. And they were planning to put that on the DD. So... That would have been, like, very interesting. But they scrapped the whole game. really bad. Sorry I get quiet on this star. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm not good enough to talk and do this star. Ooh, I turned right there. Kind of overcompensated. <laughs> it's okay though. Here we go. It was the man who became chaos in Final Fantasy One when you fight first fight him at the very start of the game. The Japanese translate very poorly, and the English version says, "I Garland will knock you all down." Okay. I... I don't know anything about Final Fantasy 1. Well, I know that they made Final Fantasy 1 as like a Square Enix, or like Square is going out of... <laughs> like, uh, is like going out of business. This is like the last game we could make. And then they made Final Fantasy. And that's why it's called Final. Here we go. Scheduled for North American release in 2000. It was a commercial failure and was never released outside in Japan. Outside of Japan, yeah. That sounds about right. I guess more reason why you guys wouldn't know about the DD. Never even... <laughs> never even took off in America. Or like, it didn't take off in Japan, but never even was sold in America. That's what I'm saying, you gotta practice casting it. Practice casting... Wait, what? My, my Mario runs? No, no, no. It's not like my commentary skill. It's just like, I don't have the game skill to like, focus on... Um, on running and, and playing, <laughs> like, at the same time. What's up, Sky? How's it going? Thanks for the kiss. Get out of Womps. We're gonna get out of Womps. And we're gonna do the slide correctly this time. We're gonna get the star in the box. Not the one we had already... We have 
already gotten. I just did the wrong movement, so this is not not a great start out of Womps, but it's okay. Sometimes it amazes me that I even like remember a fraction of what I do in the routing of this game. It is kind of the power of like compartmentalizing all the little things. Um, that goes on in speedrunning. Like you don't think about like each individual movement. You just know like how to do every each and or, like each single star. So it kind of just works out. I right, hopefully I don't fuck this up. I fucked it up. It's okay. I'll continue. Pog casting. <laughs> Here we, go. we lost like five. Not the end of the world. I mean, I, I guess I like sort of <laughs> cast my games or like my runs. But that's just kind of a nature of speedrunning, you know, you talk about what happens. Nothing wrong with casting your gaze. <laughs> Did you mean to type games? <laughs> Pain Peko. We're gonna get out of lobby today. Okay. We're, I need at least one run out of lobby before I pivot to Honkai. Gays, I think. I think I said something like... I... I guess I already kind of cast my games. But it, maybe it sounded like I said gays. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I said. Don't... Don't quote me, because... I forget the things I say, like, immediately after I say them on stream. My brain kind of works overtime on stream to kind of keep continuously pumping out words. So, <laughs> like, everything I say, uh, you know, like, I can't, I, I can't, like, hold a conversation in the same way because it's just, like, my brain is at full capacity trying to produce words. That there's no space to retain the words I've said. It's like, uh, you know, my brain's like a, like the, the RAM, right? The RAM in my brain, the random access memory, is full trying to make new words. There's nowhere to store said words. So they're just immediately discarded. I need, I need to upgrade to 32 gigs. We can tell, don't worry. I thought I was hiding it pretty well, okay? Fuck! 
Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> uh, I'm resetting. Yeah, it ditches stuff. Buy the RAM expansion pack. Just be careful where you plug it in. Neuralink solves this. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't actually know. Probably not. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does. Maybe it gives you more thinking room, or we'll develop something that will give you more thinking room, or something. Got to download more RAM. No, Neuralink will we'll have like cloud RAM. Uh, like I'll just think about things and then I'll store it in cloud storage. But I'll pay like a thousand bucks a month to store my thoughts in. Garbage collection is a bit aggressive. It's me, Mario. It's taking anything I say, put it in the garbage. I'm gonna download information directly into my brain, like the Matrix. I wonder how that would work. Like, how would you like understand the concepts better if you could just like download concepts? Like, could you make, like, a thought into a file and then just, like, download a thought and then you just feel that thought and, like, think that thought? It's kind of... Actually, this that's that's starting to sound like brainwashing a little bit, so... So maybe we, maybe we don't go down that path. That sounds a little dangerous. Hackers are gonna steal your IP by accessing your thoughts. Dude, if they... If they have access to my thoughts, like, what more could they possibly, like... Need? Why would they need my IP? Just get like my bank details from my thoughts. <laughs> just get, just get all my personal information from my thoughts. They don't need my IP address. They've already hacked into my brain at that point. I meant IP as an intellectual property idiot. <laughs> oh, touche. I have nothing. You're an idiot. Fuck you. You're on my stream. <laughs> Here we go. Get owned. <laughs> you don't have nothing? No, I'm saying like I'm no I'm no retort. It's like touche, you got me. That conversation I retained in my brain for like 30 seconds. So I just came back, welcome back. What were you up to? If you want to share. My friend was telling me about her recent trip to Colorado. I went to Colorado once to go skiing. It was a place called Keystone, Colorado. I think. I don't remember quite well. It was a while ago. Did you actually ski? Yeah. The max I could ski was on the blue diamonds. Or like the blue triangles. Or blue triangles? Blue squares? I don't... I think they're blue squares. I could not go on black diamonds. I went on one black diamond, barely got down. It's not doing a double black diamond. You can continually replay your best memory or something. Like, I guess. I don't want to... That sounds kind of nice, but I also don't want to become dependent on... It sounds like a drug, you know? I'd download a thought.
I'm gonna have ChatGPT act as my girlfriend. I would never ski as hard, I think. I'm too scared to try. Um, I mean, like, the bunny slopes are not, like, hard at all. So, if, you, if you're just trying, like, it's not really hard. If you're, if you're starting. Like, the... Beginner slopes are so easy that there's just nothing that could really go wrong with them. I'm sure it'd be addictive as hell. Yeah, I, I don't think I like I'd need to like hold myself back from doing something like that because I can see that like mentally destroying me <laughs> if I fell into that hole. What's up, Lolland? Just get good sleep. Or did you- or have you been staying up? <laughs> have you not slept? I got enough sleep? Okay, that's good. How's your- your lunch? I failed to stay awake. Oh, so I'm assuming your lunch did not happen? Photoshopping memory scary stuff? Oh shit, yeah, like what if you could edit your memories? Like literally edit your memories. That'd be crazy. Editing memories could change your entire personality. Perfect for brainwashing. That future is... I mean, yeah, I don't know. That is, that is a scary kind of... Future. If we ever get there. How do you know your memories aren't edited? Well, like, right now... There's no tech for that, right? We're just not technologically advanced so far. Sure. <laughs> Are you into conspiracy theories? I do think there's like, um, conditioning going on though, for sure. For like people. Yeah, advertising is basically conditioning. Here we go. Your brain does fudge some numbers, that's true. Like, two people after like 20 years will remember a situation like completely differently. Because, like, their brains have, like, for like, malformed the, the memory into, like, a different shape. And so, the story goes way differently in, like, the different people's heads. Even in a shorter amount of time, you know? That's why, I like... That's why, like, eyewitness reports and stuff are, like, kind of iffy, you know? You need... You need more than like one per you need like a lot of people to kind of like have more confidence that whatever they saw is real. It's me, Mario. Let me take a sip of water real quick. Yeah, I wouldn't say statements are unreliable because memory is unreliable. Yeah. You need like lots more people to kind of have more confidence. And even then, you know, like there's like a there's like some psychological like group um like conditioning. 
You know what I mean? Like, where, like, people can, like, group think themselves into thinking something is a certain way, but it's not really. There was an episode about that on the TV show House. Which episode was that? Might I just I probably just don't remember it. But I've uh I've watched almost all of House. Remember Usa was talking about how she was watching House <laughs> like like last year or something. Everyone on a plane thought they got sick, but it was all just in their heads. Oh, the mass hysteria one. Yeah, everyone was terrified of an airborne illness since they were too far to land anywhere for help. Yeah, you know, you could see like a like a like a crime go on and then like if enough people say like, oh, you know, I think they were wearing a black hoodie, but it was like, I don't know, gray or something. If one person says it like, you know, Everyone could convince themselves, hey, that, that hoodie was always black, you know, even though it was gray. And then you just get like 10 people saying one thing, but it actually was not the case. Dude, you keep doing that. <laughs> Dude, so bad. <laughs> Did I reset this? I'm four seconds behind on that. <laughs> There's a terrible ending there. I'll continue, whatever. We need to run to just get out of Womps. Or like out of Lobby. So I'll, I'll continue on these bad runs. I didn't hit that anyway. <laughs> Yeah, if I hit or if I miss Owlus, it's like an insta reset because it's like plus, I don't know, like five seconds. It's like plus five seconds. I lost like four on hundreds. I'll be plus 10 basically. A little, little, little hard to come back from a plus 10 in freaking Womps. Fake sickness reminds me of those mask days, Gay Kona. <laughs> People like. 
fucking get on my ass about masks. Like, still. Like, even though the mask... This mask is a fucking... It's a fucking mesh mask, dude. <laughs> this shit ain't doing anything. It's more... More of a looks than anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really understand. Why, uh... People get so pressed. Like, even putting aside political, you know, whatever. Because I don't really want to get into the politics too much, but. You're yelling, yelling at the wrong guy, bro. <laughs> you know, like everyone, everyone, everyone that yells at me about the mask is like, you know, really like this, this is completely unrelated. To anything. You wear that mask in public? Hell no. I would look weird if I had these little things in public. It's just, I don't know. That would be kind of weird. Why you wearing a mask indoors? You scare the Rona still. Yeah, like, how, like I don't understand how anybody could like possibly think that I'm wearing a mask in my own room because of COVID. Like, obviously, that's like you think about it for like five seconds. That's obviously not why I'm fucking wearing a mask. Had a lot of speed. Caught me off guard. Here we go. You're making a political statement, obviously. I'm taking a stance by streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Any political thing on Twitch, I mean, surely is, like, not that <laughs> impactful, right? We don't fucking vote. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, Twitch, like, in general. Twi Twitch users don't fucking vote. What a bold statement. I mean, I would bet you like 98% of Twitch users just don't vote. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most most Twitch users just don't, don't pr participate. Here we go. I vote. I think you're... I mean, would you consider that you're probably, like, one of the rare ones? Like, if I went into, like, a Mario 64, like, a big Mario 64 stream, I would say, like, 99% of the people in that chat are not voting. I vote probably won't this year. I vote. Hey, this is a little political, but um, I vote for <laughs> I vote for a, a little party um, that has no chance of winning every year in Japan.
So really, I'm not contributing to shit, <laughs> but I do vote. But I might as well not be voting. <laughs> would you hear all the dementia? Would you like to run the country? I'm sure America will move on to where uh, millennials will be in charge next, right? Like you got you got the boomers run the country now, and then you're gonna have the millennials run the country next. Stuck on the wall. Here we go. I knew Zeta was Kometo. <laughs> I didn't say which one. There's like a billion parties. There's no way anybody could tell which one I am. Stop that. It's okay. It's okay. You're not. You're not gonna be nailsing. It's okay. Is that supposed to be an improvement? Like millennials running America? I mean, you can take it however you want. But if you're like a millennial, you're probably like. You're probably in for a long period of time where, like, millennials are just gonna run America, right? Just because of how, like, how many millennials there are. Eventually, we'll have, like, Zoomer politics. <laughs> See how that goes. Has always skipped Gen X. Which one's Gen X? We live in a country where we have like 70, 80 years on office. Yet the retirement age is like 60. Yeah, but like when that's when that goes away, like or like it'll get passed down, the torch will get passed down to the millennials, you know, it'll be the millennials' turn to do the same to do the same thing. I missed Shigeru, but maybe it's for the better because I'm fucking up Shigeru. He's <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. There is voting for the party that is running to legalize weed. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. I'm saying jack shit. I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting political. Okay, that was uh we got a we got a little freebie there. We're out of womps. Finally. Used the uh, controller switcher there, courtesy of Ninta. Is okay. We know that you were a complete stoner when you were in the U.S. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. I have had one experience. Here we go. Allegedly. 
Actually, he was a competitive stoner until he found spear on him. How spear earning me from a lifetime of drugs and crime. Does not happen. It's not real. That experience lasts from 2021 until now. He's never stopped. It's not true. One experience in America. <laughs> One experience, or it wasn't even America. It was in in outside of outside of Japan. It was outside of Japan. Allegedly, yes. Allegedly. I love that word. Allegedly. And you were coerced. Yes, I was coerced. <laughs> it wasn't even my idea, you know? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That was pretty bad. Lost like five seconds at least. Okay. Well, uh, it's fine. That was not reset material, you know? God, I think I'm fucked. I think the penguin pushed me out of the way for the coin. Fuck! Dude, this penguin cucked me! I hate this fucking penguin. <laughs> this fucking penguin pushed me out of the way for the fucking coin. And I lost the run, dude. Oh my god. Fucking god damn it. <laughs> it's me, Mario. I'll do uh, a couple more runs and then we'll switch to Honkai. So Japanese weed laws are not like Korean laws where they can prosecute for actions down outside of Korea. Um, no. In Japan, it's like... It, you can't, like, you can't do weed. Or, like, you can't be under the influence of weed, I think. Is what it is. So if you... If you do... Um... I don't know. Uh, I think, it, technically speaking, I think if you're like still high as you come back into Japan, then you can be prosecuted. But like, Japan doesn't have like jurisdiction over what happens in other countries. So they won't be able to do that, no. Like, a, there's some people. This is very, this is a very small amount of people because most Japanese people are not 
really trying to do drugs in general. <laughs> um, but there's some people that go to like Thailand to do like to smoke weed. Um, I know that for sure. So. Yeah, that that happened. You can literally get prosecuted for gambling outside Korea if you're a Korean citizen. I, mean, I thought gambling was legal in Korea. Isn't there like a big casino area? I don't really have an interest in going to Thailand that much. Just because a lot of the tourist stuff seems a little degenerate <laughs> if you go to Thailand. I'm sure like there's like, you know, if you live daily life in Thailand, there's like lots of cool things and whatever that happened in Thailand, but the, the touristy stuff seemed kind of degenerate. Gambling is legal for foreigners in Korea, but not for Koreans. What the fuck? How does that make any sense? So they recognize it's like bad, a bad thing for its own people. But they're like, if you're from another country, we'll take your money. Let you do what we deem is bad for you. See, gambling makes a lot of money, true. Yeah, if you can just prey on people from other countries, I guess. Thailand is beautiful. My ex went to school there for a time. I've had one encounter with Thailand, like, personally. I guess this, this is just why. Like, one, I have one friend who lived, uh, who, well, she lives in Thailand. She's, Thai, you know, she's from Thailand. Um, she was like, yeah, I don't want to live here. Like, I want to get out of here. <laughs> and she made it sound like it's, like, her life sucked there. <laughs> so... That kind of, like, perspective given to me, I guess, like, you know, it's like first impressions, right? Like, you, when you're told something sucks, it's hard to, like, change your mind about it. So I guess that's why. I'm sure there's, like, good stuff about it that, like, she never told me, but... Did you go to her room to smell her candles? No. I never, I never went to Thailand. I just, I just knew her online. Apparently there's one casino now that Koreans can legally gamble at in the entire country. I mean, Japan's kind of trying to do the same thing, I think. My opinion... They should just go hardcore into gotchas. The gotcha, the, the government should like subsidize the gotcha industry. <laughs> to be fair, the country is like the size of Georgia, US, Korea. That's true. People always talk about Japan small, but Korea is even smaller. You're welcome, by the way, for what? Here we go. 
a welcome back. Who is that? Hopefully not all 60 million want to gamble. Yeah, I don't really like gambling in general that much. It's one of those things where, like, be smart doesn't really apply. It's just so addictive. And there's very little, you know, not many things in life that can just kind of uh, spiral out of control as fast as bad gambling can, can, uh, can go, you know? Dixon, good luck, Lana. Let me do a shout out. Little, little cheeky shout out. Yeah, Lana's uh, another Mario runner. Way better 16 runner than I am, by far. <laughs> um, I hope 70 has been well. We're, uh, I'm still learning new things and uh, I'm trying to put them in practice. So today's not been that well, but it's been, it's been going pretty good, all things considered. I'm kind of trying to apply all this stuff I learned, so. Ignore that. Ignore ignore that one. But I wouldn't say it's going bad. I don't even use face cam anymore. <laughs> My bad. It just picks a random clip. Yeah. I was uh casting a noobs tournament where Lana was coaching one of the players yesterday, so we were uh, in the booth, the digital booth, together uh, yesterday. I'd love to go back to 7120 when I have more motivation. Yeah, it's a lot, right? Like, it's there's a lot of stars, a lot of routes you gotta memorize and perform on. Did a great job. I was happy when I saw your name. I'm glad to hear it. I was uh, I was pretty nervous going in. I think it kind of showed a little bit of my voice in the beginning, but I started to kind of, you know, get used to the environment as time went on. Looking back on it, you know, I you know with anything there's reflections, but uh, I don't think I did like terrible, but. I did realize it cut people off sometimes, which I need to improve on. Here we go. I was getting really nervous before doing comms. I think it's like one of those things where you, I guess, have to experience it over and over. Eventually, it'll start to get easier. <laughs> What the hell is this raid? You're right that I like <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Wait. Crazy madman. <laughs> no, I don't hate women. I I love women. <laughs> it's not it's not real. It's not real. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Uh how was your stream? Usa brought me to you. Thank you, Usa. Uh, but yeah, welcome in. 
Hope you had a, hope you had a good stream. Where are you, uh, where are you playing? And for those of you new here, hello, my name is KTR Zeto. Most people call me Zeto. I'm a Mario 64 runner from Japan. Playing Indigo Park. I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm like half dividing my attention to the game, so excuse me for a moment. Yeah, I play a couple different games here and there. You know, mainly Mario 64, but... Oh. <laughs> uh, mainly Mario 64, but a couple different games. Played a spooky game. Super Mario 69. Most people call me misogynist. No, but most people do not call me a misogynist. <laughs> My ass forgot to join the raid. I sat in chat alone. Yeah, sometimes the raids leave you. What's up, Electric Seagull? How dare you focus on the game? We're all here to watch you play. I like to think everyone's here for their, you know, my, my personality, you know? <laughs> uh, and I think that because my gameplay is a little lacking, but no, I appreciate it for sure. Thank you for the follow. Uh, friend to frogs, crazy madman. What do you go by? Electric Seagull, thank you for all the follows. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good time. I want to go back to Japan. I guess now is kind of a good time, huh? Although, I mean, it's, summer's coming up, so... <laughs> Summer is not a, not a fun time in most places in Japan. If you go north, actually pretty good. How's the game going? We've been stuck at the lobby of the castle <laughs> for the entire day, but um, I'm trying a couple new harder tricks, so it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. I'm a little, I'm uh, a lot more inconsistent at them. Uh, yeah, the yen is cheaper, so would probably be a good time. Assuming it's going to recover at some point. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully for my sake it does. I was there in fall, maybe this fall again. Yeah, fall is definitely one of the, the nicest times. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. And you get to see all the, the leaves. Turn bright orange. The mountainside and stuff. If you go out for nature, it's very nice. Also, hi again. Couldn't hear. No worries. Uh, I think I just asked, what do you go by? God damn it. <laughs> ah. Can you pull your hair back? <laughs> I don't actually have a receding hairline. It's normal. I'm starting to disappoint. <laughs> Drink water. Cheers.
Thanks for the follow, Soft. Appreciate it. Really close to a thousand now. We're 13 away. I mean, only 13. <laughs> 13's a lot of people, but relatively, it's pretty close. Then 2%. Not 2%. Yeah, no, we're, we're within 2%. I saw the bridge of his nose. It's over for me. How scandalous. Showing nose. What are you going to do for 1k? That's a good question. Um, absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, actually, I will uh, be increasing that number to a bigger number. That's, that's what's going to happen when I hit 1k. <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Play Mario, but normal. At this point, I don't even know how I would like play normal because I know all this stuff. Because it's not necessarily like... I, I could, you know, obviously skip the glitches and stuff, but like... You know, what do you consider normal and not normal in in the in what I do, you know? Yeah, okay, thank you again for the raid. Normal as in no shortcuts. Yeah, just hard to define shortcuts. <laughs> I sound like a politician, but it's hard to define shortcuts in this game because it's like an open world game, you know? It's not like uh it's not like Mario Galaxy where it's more linear. They're asking for you to be normal, not not the speedrun. Freak. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I get a little freaky with it. Oh. <laughs> I swear, dude, I'm gonna hit this. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this. It's me, Mario. So yeah, uh, I you, you can see I'm repeating that star over and over again, because in speedrunning you bring the hardest stuff to the front. Also, thank you for all real envy. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your stay. Um, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of the harder stuff's in the front, so I'm having trouble with it. This is the run. Yeah, this one for sure. Flappy Bird when? I remember Flappy Bird on my fucking shitty iPhone 4. <laughs> what a time that was. And like... The game like went offline or whatever because the developer decided to get rid of it. I remember I kept the game on my phone after it got like deleted off the store. For a while. Just be like, hey, I have a copy of the game. Like, obviously, this star would not be normal. I get that. But some of the other stars is like a little ambiguous. He's known to choke, by the way. Yeah, but we're, we're not even getting far enough to consider any anything that I'm messing up choking. 
I'm just <laughs> screwing up. We believe in him. We believe in you, and if you don't do it, we are all unfollowing. <laughs> no pressure. All right, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it on uh on the next attempt here. Just watch. For Johnny's kids, make sure to join the raffle. It's like his brain worms points. Do they go by Johnny? Sorry, I, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if my question was ever answered. I kind of <laughs> you know I've I have trouble keeping up the chat when it's faster than like one message per minute. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm gonna hit it, dude. You, you guys are gonna see it, and it's it's gonna me, not be very. <laughs> so me not be very flashy, but I'm gonna hit it, all right? And it's and we're all gonna celebrate. I may very well be the entity known as Johnny and my brain words are sacred. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Don't unfollow. <laughs> Don't unfollow. Please, I need it. I need the numbers. Everyone spam messages very quickly. <laughs> Now, for real though, like, I basically, any message you want me to read, try to type it, like, as I get the star. Because then I'll have, like, a good, like, 10 seconds to read the message. And it has to be short. It doesn't have to be short, but it's, it's more likely that if it is short, I'm gonna read it. He cannot read long messages. I mean, I, 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 I could, you know, I'm like, I've, you know, I can read not well, but like I can read. And I bought one coins. Yeah. Usa set it up so that. Nightbot friggin' wins the raffle sometimes. Have you always lived in Japan? Um, for most of my life. I mean, I grew up here. But there are moments when I lived abroad very briefly. I studied in the U.S. a little bit. English is my second language, so like I'm, I'm not American or anything. <laughs> you lived in Thailand? No, I did not live in Thailand. So what's up, Cody? If I saw a Nightbot in an alley, I'd shiv it. <laughs> no, Nightbots are Flynn. Thought I jumped off the ledge there. Oh, 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 oh,
The furthest we've gotten today was 15 minutes into the run. But the whole run is about 54 minutes. Some odd number around there. KTRZ lore. My origin story. Trying to set up your lore. My lore is just like my life. <laughs> I'm not like a I'm not like a character man. There he goes, lying for clout again. He's Canadian. Dude, I've been in Canada for like less than like, uh, like two months <laughs> total in my life. I'm not Canadian. Here we go. You mean you're not an isekai MC to take down the shooting council? Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I'm in Canada, where did you go? I've been to Vancouver. That's pretty much it. I've only been to Vancouver. I think I went to Lake Victoria. I think that's also in Canada. I'm like hiking there. He's Asian Vancouver was the obvious answer. Looks like we're getting out of walls with this one. Here we go. It was a Tibetan monk. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I can't even point to where Tibet is on a map. <laughs> Golden. Gold Womps is not something you see every day. For anyone that is new to speedrunning, Golding just means you did that segment of the run like better than you've ever done it before. Fuck. And then I kill the run immediately after. <laughs> ah. Ah. Can you hear the glitch on the infinite stairs? Yes. But I can't do it right now. You gonna see? It's me, Mario. Crackle. Hold on. Yahoo! 
Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. It's, uh, I'm doing RNG manipulation. It didn't matter there because I already have 120 stars on the save, but I can do it. But 70 star, you don't do that trick because it's banned. Because <laughs> it's considered a major skip. So I don't even do it. All right, let's switch over. So today I was going to do some Mario runs and then I was going to switch to playing Honkai uh, Star Rail. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick here. Um, give me a second to sip some water. And so it begins. We've lost him. Dude, I'm not going to spend any money, okay? It's fine. You guys are overreacting. It's not a big deal. This game will not consume me. I'm just going to play it a little bit, you know, for fun. I always wanted to learn how to do this. You could try. It's it's really easy. I mean, you got to set up the game and stuff, but um it's not as hard as it looks. Oh, I need a Wait, I need to start OBS as a as an admin. Can I record this other otherwise? Um Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold. Hold. All right. Is there sound? Where's the sound? Wait, why is there no sound? <laughs> huh? Oh, there we go. Hold on. <laughs> and there it is. Turn it up. It is it already kind of loud? Is it playing that one classical song? Da, 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 da. It is uh, Paco Bell. Canon in D. Was that Canon in D? I need to turn this into English, huh? <laughs> Not Taco Bell, Paco, Paco Bell. Getting 
Okay, guys. Do I need to restart? <laughs> do I need to restart this? Hold on. Yeah, Alt F4. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, I don't want to... I didn't know... <laughs> I didn't know it didn't install. Well, okay, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Change the voice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not about to install five gigs worth right now on stream. So you'll just have to read. Read. System <laughs> yeah, Paco Bell's canon in D major. You, what the fuck is this? This is the greatest game you've ever seen. Honkai Star Rail. And don't you dare disrespect it. Okay? We always knew you were a gacha fiend. I'm not gonna spend money. I'm not doing polls. Oh yeah, Usa, can you change the category? Actually, I'll just change it myself. Oh, I know it's already changed. Yeah, free to play account. What is she talking? What are they talking about? Am I supposed to understand? ごめんね。今日の任務はすごく退屈なの。ただ目標を入れるだけだから。でも。Oh. Battle Star. Use basic attack on selected enemy. <laughs> It's like Pokemon. Select the enemy on your right as your target. Switch to your skill for a stronger attack. Use skill on the selected enemy. Oh, I have like an AOE big damn. It's my skill. I have like a bar. Perta's port portrait. Sprint, sprint while moving to boost your movement speed. Okay, it said right click and I was like, hopefully I can just push shift. Um, um. Wait, Frost, your profile picture is the panda profile picture from the Xbox 360? Dude, Frost, for the longest time, I've been thinking that's a fucking Baru panda. I didn't, th I didn't think that was a... I didn't think that was a, that was a Xbox 360, bro. What the fuck? Even I knew. I never had an Xbox, dude. I thought it was from Admiral Baru, like the the fucking streamer. Holy shit! My world is turned upside down. What the hell? Me neither. I. How do you know about a fucking panda on the Xbox? <laughs> 
I didn't think you were cool. Ditto probably. That's not what I'm saying. I just, th I just thought it was something else this whole time. Um, not all turn-based RPGs are Pokemon. True. But like the... Okay. Yeah, you know what? My bad. Caught. My bad. Caught. Caught. Okay, it is not... It's not necessarily like Pokemon. Well, I mean... It is like Pokemon, but it's not like a copy of Pokemon, because Pokemon is also just one of many in the genre. Yeah, my bad. She's a uh, Rory Baba. She can probably age backwards if she wanted. Eighty-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who only lived for a dozen days? And the game and the no my own. Game and the character and game and the high series. Like, the character Is there like an auto advance button? I can I can do for the text. Also, I need to make the mouse sensitivity higher. Where's the controls? This. Uh, I need mouse. <laughs> Where's mouse? Shit. Whatever. It's okay. Best memories are on Xbox, including that panda. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> What is a Shumatsuju? What's up, Rob? More like Honkai Star Fail! Ha ha ha! You are playing as my wife. <laughs> yeah, I took your wife. Get cucked. Who convinced you to play this game? Uh, Usa, when I watched her play, uh, fucking this game on her stream. CLM cut climbs matter. That's our wife. <laughs> the enemy is now within the character's attack range. Attack selected enemy to trigger combat. Weakness. What does that mean? All characters possess a powerful ultimate, which can be used when their energy is full. Fight enemies to regenerate energy. You are at full energy. Activate your ultimate now. Use ultimate to attack all enemies. I'm ulting! Oh. <laughs> Zeto the gacha streamer. Damn. Didn't even look at him. More like hot guys I'd rail. Are there hot guys in this game? あの 
Auto mouse, bro's been playing too many hentai games. It's just a standard for games like this. I don't know. They, they a lot of times they have an auto play the story, like the the text. You know, click through. What's up, Germ? Yeah, playing some Honkai Star Rail. Can you get a shout out for Germ? Oh no. <laughs> but is is grooming kids bad? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How is that possibly? <laughs> The clip that it picks, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Um... <laughs> I don't endorse in grooming kids. You know, I, in fact, I endorse saving the children. And you can save a child today with 100 channel points. Um... But... You know, it's, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it was out of context. It's probably out of context. See, yeah, Germ's saving it, saving a child. See, he's a, he's a cool guy. Sorry, I might not mod too well. We'll say why in general am watching. Gotcha. Yeah, no worries. Um, I'll probably just do the shadows myself. That's the case. Drake ass clip. <laughs> Do they have a power meter? This is this is like a uh, Dragon Ball. それのどこが興味深いのよ。自分の転送が気にならない。私はかなり知りたい。そう。じゃあどっちを見つけたら試してみましょう。Cancer of all worlds? Stellaron? So we're trying to destroy the cancer or something? I can do some what I typed in general just happened. Okay, yeah, take your time, man. <laughs> Monka ass. Switch your team's new addition, Silver Wolf, onto the field. Weakness. What does weakness mean? Time for cereal BRB. Hope you get some nice snackies here. Why would you want to fight cancer? Well, you you would want to fight cancer. Like you definitely always want to fight cancer. Characters and enemies act in sequence from the top of the top to the bottom of the our action order. Ultimates are not affected by the action order. It can be used in any turn. Okay, so we got me, me, enemy, me. What does impair do? What does this do? Ooh. I impaired <laughs> his abilities. Wow. You're at full energy. Activate your ultimate now. If the ultimate becomes available, it can be used immediately. Oh. Did she just play a rhythm game on him? Did she just sound Voltex on his ass? Did she just Chunism on his ass? Press and hold Alt to show your cursor. Open tutorial. Unlike tutorials, contents can be checked in tutorials. Uh, 
Uh, energy. Energy is generated in the battle using abilities, defeating enemies or receiving attacks. So anything, any action basically gives me energy. Destructible object. Got a stellar jade out of it. Which I don't know what that is. I can't jump. Okay, these characters are too smug. <laughs> skill points is a combat resource shared by the whole team. Switch to skill. Consume skill points to use skills. All skill points have been used. Skills cannot be used when insufficient skill points are present. Basic attacks to recover team skill points. Okay. Um. Ooh. I don't even know what happened. I shouldn't like save my ult, right? Or does does the ult carry over fights? Ult does carry over? Okay, so if I'm fighting trash mobs, maybe I want to keep it. Welcome back, Electric Seagull. I'll just call you Seagull, I think. <laughs> it's probably smarter. It builds up pretty fast, but maybe. Okay. So I, I, I could just spam it then. Probably doesn't matter. Come back after Usa's shameless plug for your Discord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, we were locking content behind Discord joining. They're looking for Herta. They're looking for their item. The Stellaron. Which is made by Herta. Don't tell me, you know, obviously, spoilers, but. Okay. So it is Herta made the Stellaron. And they're looking for it. Herta made me, she's my mom. <laughs> so you have your wife and your mom in this game? How much money to get you to say Monka S in your everyday life? Like, I would need continuous payment <laughs> for whenever I'm saying it. Zero dollars? Do you actually just say that, Miguel, in real life? Hmm, I'm not understanding. 
They're hacking. Hackermans. Ditto probably says Poggers IRL. You think I say Poggers? Hell no. Dude, I don't even say Poggers like in general, like in, in on streams and stuff. Simple light deflecting field allows an object in its field to pass and notice, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object is revealed. The different item ceases to be obvious. Where is this Herta? Oh, there's just a hole in the fucking wall. Okay. Whoa. I like this room. Can a test Zedos's poggers off stream? I don't say poggers off stream. You don't even see me off stream. <laughs> this is own security system, I guess, even for her to still around is no ordinary rarity. You can lie to us, but you can't lie to yourself. I'm not lying to myself. I don't say poggers. So defensive? Because it's not true. People say so defensive for things that like people don't even do because it's like obviously they're going to get defensive for things regardless of if it's true or not she just said this change will make a lot of changes i don't think it makes sense to pick a girl <laughs> There's so many girls in this game that are not you. I'm just going to pick the guy. You will regret it? Why? Is the story better as a girl? Man, you're too close. You're too close. I'm going feral. Kafka. Okay. Kite.今とても混乱しているわよね。自分が誰で、なぜここにいるのか、これからどうすればいいのかわからない。私を知っている気がするけど、信用していいかわからない。でも、これらは重要じゃない。Game ruined unwatchable stream? Is that actually... Do you guys actually think this? だから今からはもう過去のことを考えたり自分を疑ったりする必要はないわ聞いてこれから君は数え切れないほど危険な目にあって恐ろしい状況に身を置くことになるでも美しい出来事にもたくさん出会うわ家族のような仲間を持ち夢の中でも体験できないような冒険をする旅の終わりには君を悩ませてきた全ての謎が解き明かされるのこれがエリオの予見
そして君がたどり着く未来を気に入ったかしら I guess それでいいわ聞いて Stop telling me to listen I'm listening 心に決めたことに従えば必ず物語の結末にたどり着けるわ私は君のそういうところが好きなの Okay, I know I said your name, but I, I really don't know who you are. Say, Q, let's show no hitta to go more so go cooler. What does that you are cut it out to so go specky the one night? Walk up the rug in low. Most cushy, most more jikan me time. What does you like? Keith, stop telling me to listen. You gotta walk around as a dude mid story, but I walk around as a dude in real life already. What's the, what's the big hubbub? Life in general is better in girl form. This is why the internet spawned femboys everywhere, not complaining. I mean, girls are better to look at. I will agree. But I, am I not like role playing as myself? A lot of games, I just self insert like myself as the character. So then, a lot of times, I just choose a guy. Do choices matter in this game? I'm having a hard time imagining how they're gonna write a gotcha story where choices matter, but maybe they do. These gotta be actual important characters. Their voices are are voiced with too much passion. Okay, I almost just got fucking CPR by a guy. That was <laughs> I'm not into that, man. I'm not into BL. I self insert myself into your mom. <laughs> that was a good one. That's a good one. Should ask what you as you should ask your mom what I was doing fucking this weekend. Choices don't even matter a little bit. So why did she tell me choices matter? I've seen beyond the farthest star and have gone to the edges of the earth. What is this? <laughs> what is this in response to? My first Genshin account went male and I had to hide it away in shame. No one would have understood. I have a male in my Genshin account. Not that I don't play it. This. My name is Zet. Yoroshiko Tanomu. Orewa Tanko. Kochiwa Mitsuki Nanokada. Okay, the fucking subtitles and the names are completely different from what they actually just said. He said his name is Tanko. But he says Dan Hang. <laughs> and this is Mitsuki Nanoka. Okay, March 7th. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. This is hard to like, I gotta like, I gotta match the names up and shit. This is weird. It's weird they change the name so much. No, I guess it makes sense. When you read Chinese names in Japanese, you read them with the, the Japanese reading a lot of times. Dan is hung. <laughs> That's a stretch, bro. Zero the Genshin streamer when? Never again. No, I just don't like the uh, end game loop of Genshin. It's not for me. Uh, Antimatter Legion lead researcher Asta. Where should I go? What is the Antimatter Legion? Goons. I can't look at the word goon without being a fucking idiot. 
Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky that the most dangerous Lord Ravager, limit emanator of destruction, among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. Okay. Lead researcher Asta. So Herta appointed this person or the whatever they're talking about. Asta. So Herta appointed Asta. They're all on the side of Herta. And then I'm being found by like, these would be like my enemies, right? Because Kafka was the one I was with. Where should I go? What is the Astral Express? Oh, that's the fucking space train? I guess it's in the name, Astral Express. Now I feel like playing this. I mean, I heard the story is good. That's why I'm trying to drink everything in. So you'll get the story experience from me. Not so much the gameplay experience. Dan Hang and I are members of the Astral Express crew. It's a space train, gotcha. Also, let me do a shadow for Sonic. Last streaming Terraria. I don't know much about Terraria. I know it's a little bit less uh, chill than Minecraft because you got you got like bosses and stuff going on a lot more. But I hope you're having fun with that. Zeta, why are they speaking gibberish? I swear the game had proper voice acting. I'm, I think the subtitles are in gibberish, actually. I can't, I can't make out what it says. English voices are bad, don't give in. I'm sure they're fine. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Is this a fucking baseball bat? <laughs> Just give me a club? I guess, man. I guess it's better than nothing. Open your character configuration menu. Detailed information about characters can be seen in the character screen. Each character has their own type. Zet is a physical type character. Zet is a character that follows the path of destruction. Select a March 7th. Why why is her name so stupid? <laughs> I'm not sure on the game, but why is her name fucking stupid? Is this gonna be explained? Okay, so kind of Genshin level level up system. Oh. As the effects of the Legion's invasion have not been completely removed by all curious in the space station are displayed here. Base anchor. Oh, this is how you heal. Okay. You said pick up the bat. Well, where's the bat? Wasn't there a bat, like, right here? Or did he pick it up already? Oh, he, he already he auto-picked it up. There's a lore, dude. Don't worry. Okay. 
Because her birthday is March 7th. My source, I made it the fuck up. <laughs> Don't tell Miko that. What the March 7th is a stupid name. I mean, that, that is a stupid name, though. It's like... If it's her birthday or something, like... If, it, if I name myself my birthday, I would be fucking July 12th. <laughs> Like, what kind of name is July 12th, man? Terraria has been fun, especially when Eclipse tried to troll me by summoning a huge plant boss in the underground jungle and left me to solo it. And then proceeded to get a world record somehow. You got a world record? Grants, man. Terraria is one of those games I've always meant to play, but I just never got around to. The white bar below the weakness types indicate the enemy's toughness. Okay. Using the attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness types will reduce the enemy's toughness. Oh, I want the same type. Okay. So I don't have to remember like a Pokemon style like chart pattern chart or type chart. I can just use the same type. Look the enemy on the right as your target. Attack and deplete enemy toughness to zero. His basic attack on selected enemy. Use ice attacks to inflict weakness break, causing enemies to freeze. Is this is this AOE? What is defense? I don't think I want to do defense. These are trash mobs. Let's just try out the blast attack. Oh yeah, it is AOE. Okay, cool. Does this guy just sack his HP to get out of stun faster? That's kind of cool. Did he just do the same thing? <laughs> What? Oh no, it, it killed him. Was there like a dot on him or something? It's over here. I didn't even notice. The skills AOE and the regular attack is single. Okay. Is that for all characters? The skill will be AOE? I don't have access. Not being able to jump is... It's like I'm playing Zelda. It's only AoE if you believe in yourself. I don't think that's how it works. Depends on the character. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just not talk about it. Got protein rice. Let's go, baby. Basic treasure. Oh, cut them off guard. I got locked on. It says locked on by the enemy will be attacked first. March 7th follows the pr path of preservation and can protect allies. Okay, cool. Shield will be displayed on the outer edge of the HP bar. When a character takes damage, the shield effect will be reduced first. Ulting! Dude, this looks sick. What are you, why are you guys fucking talking about... My... My character being a dude. 
Come on. It looks sick. Does my skill point reset? Oh, not Mario. Yeah, we played a, like four hours of Mario. Switched off to Honkai. Honk, honk. Honkai. Okay, the shield ability is a little bit more useful than I had previously, initially, uh, had thought. That's good. A little bit of Heelys here. Did I fight mobs? Can I even go here? No. Probably gonna make me go here in a second. So be like, oh, this, this elevator's locked or something. Gotta go... Gotta go and fight those enemies to open this door. It worked? Of course. Not pre-playing, I just knew it. Two speed when? Is it still locked? There are also elements in this game which some have advantages over others and some are just neutral. Okay. Because it was like earlier just use frost on frost. But maybe that's not always going to be the case. One skill point is regen when you do a basic attack but when you use a skill it takes up a point. Yeah, does it does it reset like after a battle to like a default value? Okay, but Zeta, you almost had a guy giving you CPR. That BL situation was your doing. We remember that. <laughs> it's for the girls, okay? The girls are into that. Every battle gets reset to the default now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You could have been a girl though. Regardless, I don't want to see the fucking uh, a dude kiss my character. <laughs> That's that. I still wouldn't want to see that. Add a character. Nice. So these are like the default characters. Of course. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. This is years of game experience coming in, dude. Oh, I can use abilities on them to initiate the fight. March 7th technique can randomly freeze an enemy when the battle starts. Okay. Oh, these are both single target. But I guess it just does more damage. I should have gone for this guy because he has wind. Oopsies. Um. We'll just go single target. Whatever. Nihility's command. Are you guys nihilists? Dude, she does no damage. <laughs> Maybe I need to level her up. Is 
Zeno's ultimate power offers two powerful attack modes, the single target mode and the multi-target mode. Surely the single target mode just does better damage solo. We've talked about this. What's a kiss between homies? <laughs> That's how it starts, man. <laughs> if you're into it, man, I'm not going to judge. You can do whatever. How it goes? I'm back for a bit. Welcome back. Rules are made to be broken. Who says that? Rules are made to be broken. Is that like... Is that rumble? Hey, you're all... I mean, it's, I guess it's just a generic phrase, too. Oh, my character says that in English. Okay. I don't see the point to nihilism. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Good point. So was Kafka and Silver Wolf Sil Silver Wolf the Legion? It's kind of funny. We finished playing New Vegas, which had the Legion. They're Stellaron hunters, so yes. Kafka was mommy and Silver Wolf was Bay. That's not what I'm asking about. Put aside your horniness for one second. Some characters have offensive techniques and others have passive ones you choose before battle. Okay. Bring back Silver Wolf. I didn't like either of those characters that much. I thought Kafka was like a smug bitch. <laughs> and Silver Wolf was kind of a uh annoying. Nah, she, yeah, she was like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm so, I'm so good at everything. She reminds me of you. God damn it. I just, I just gave her like a reason why she's not good. Now I have to like her because you said she's like me. Why did you rig the raffles in my favor? They're not rigged. He, I think the AI is pulling from Kafka as in like the fucking book. Like a uh, author. We asked to send you a look for me. I assume she must have given you the encryption you were asking in the elevator system. I mean, Mitsuki is a lot easier to say than March 7th. Mitsuki Nanoka. That, that just flows as a name better than March 7th. Alright, let's get the elevator going. Well, like, Nan Nanoka feels better than 7th to me, but I guess it's not a big deal. Jero, just like me for real. Does this mean we can be friends finally? We're friend like friends. We're like friends. Uh... 
hold on. I only activated the element highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Why? It's so far away. So I mustn't give the Legion a chance to reach the master control zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. So I have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Why does he keep saying Kisama? Kisama is not a very nice way to refer to people in Japanese. その心配は必要ない。エレベーターの権限は主制御部分からでも操作できるのだろう。そうだよ。うちら二人でここまで来れたんだから、それに炭鉱もいるんだし、そこまでしなくても大丈夫。半物質レギオンはうちらに任せて
okay. We'll just kill all of them in one hit. Never mind, he survived. I should just use the special ability. Whatever. I think I had a dot or something. Alright. We're just trying to get out of here. Not a whole lot of lore drop right now. What are light cones? いや、公園水はガーデンオブリコレクションの技術だ。記憶を身につけることができるため、かなりの力を持つ強化型の器物だと言われている。カンパニーが大金を支払って利用権を購入したらしいが。They allow you to carry memories around. We were kind of talking about this earlier in stream about how like what if you could upload memories to the to the cloud? I can just take them? What? I, I, you just said they're like rare. <laughs> okay. Light guns can offer stat bonuses to characters. Group the light guns that match the character's path to activate powerful light cone abilities. Okay. Solid five phenomena sealed inside slices of pure light to upgrade various abilities. Additional powers are awakened when a light cone follows the, follows the same path as a light cone. Does path just mean like like type readable item oh yeah i'm not reading these am i should i read these i'm assuming i'm i i don't have to if mc in future why is his main weapon a bad that's what i'm saying dude they could have given me any futuristic weapon. They gave me a fucking club. It's okay. Oh. You just had to open your mouth, huh? In Japanese, you call this furagu wo tateru. To put up a flag. When you put up a flag, activate X2 speed to experience faster combat. Okay. The enemy is locked down in Zay, ready to use a powerful charge attack. Use March 7th skill to give shield. Use real time combat view to check character's current status. I'm good. Um. Okay. I guess this is like a mini little mini boss fight. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that one. <laughs><笑> 
All right. Easy clap. Never mind. It was not an easy clap. Whoa. Holy. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Holy. Oh my god. Himeko.私のレールガンなら確かに一掃できるけど。She's Hello, nice to meet you. She's in charge of the express coast. Uh, I've never met a more reckless girl in my life. I've never met a more lively girl in my life. In that case, I'd rather not answer. I mean, it's two. That's the joy of youth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. How old are you? She looks like she's 30. Himiko has joined the team temporarily. So she's not going to be in my team forever. She's not a free character. She's not going to be the mommy Lisa of my team. This is Asta. Mmm. それに彼の傷。あなたたちが助けてくれたおかげね。災害発生時、ステーションの最も貴重な資産はスタッフであることを身をもって実感するわ。ああ。不足の事態への備えがあまりにも不十分だった。セキュリティや戦闘員の育成
これなら彼女を引きつけることができるでしょそれは助かるわ。So we're trying to get Herta to come here? Press Alt and show your cursor. You can obtain characters and light cones from warps. Make one warp. Oh, this is a this is the gotcha. Dude, this music's going crazy. Asta. Stellar warp. Every time warp guarantees a four star or above entity. Permanent. Okay, and these are all the other banners. Okay, cool. Is there something I should do in regards to the gacha right now? Should I wait? I can just walk here. Hello. Spend? I'm not spending money. I'm just saying, like, should I save up points? You know, should I, should I just roll? I don't know. Well, I caught with the anti matter legion sooner. Um. How are you feeling? I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. <laughs> you, you'd look a little cooler saying that if you were a little taller. <laughs> Alright. Um, what's the space station? ほかのスタッフはだいぶ分が軽症だが、俺は彼らの精神状態が心配だ。ほとんどのものはミスヘルタを慕ってこの宇宙ステーションに来たが、今は彼女と連絡がつかない。家族と連絡を取る余裕も
not invest this is not investment okay investment implies a return on an investment what return do you have when you spend money in a gotcha game you just lose money <laughs> it goes in the void there is no return you can't even there's no way to make back that money sell the account but it's it's a it would diminish in value right surely you get jpegs we don't even own the jpegs you don't even get to own them they're just they're just in the the fucking in the cloud if the service ends you lose the jpegs Spectro spectrometer filter reference attenuator. Spectrometer attenuator signal. To repeat it again. Spectrometer filter attenuator. Up, right, down. Up, right, down. She keeps calling me kid. I'm not a kid. I haven't been a kid for a very long time. I wish I was a kid. You guys, you guys ever like want to go back in time? Wish you were a kid again. Okay. Look, look, Lukax。すべての Locked up. They got like a little zoo or something? <laughs> Save non-human life. <laughs> what did I just get myself into? Is this going to be important? All right, let's go upstairs. Let's go see what's up. <laughs> what's up? Up here. Abraham. <laughs> what a quote. I can run from yesterday, I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead one step ahead ahead of me. Very profound. With enough apathy, nothing is important. So what? What are you talking? The obstacle detection terminals recorded 142,000 attacks. The next time will be 142,000. Well, who cares? That's how numbers work. Life is but a path to death, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I'll pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. I guess. Do I believe the words that are coming out of my mouth? What is this? Oh, is it battle pass? 
Yeah, I'm not doing dailies. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing dailies or battle passes or whatever. Off to bed for me. It was great meeting y'all. I'm Def. Come visit more. Good night, everyone. Have a good night, Seagull. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow and everything. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Um. Yeah, we'll stream next time in two days. You want to come by next? Bat is a weapon because this game is a comedy ship post and it's funny, but the story is serious, right? Whoa. Error. Did they just <laughs> they just show March's chest coming into frame? <laughs> が切れたわ。戻るのか。行っておくが、あれは終末銃。レギオンの対天体兵器だ。so what now? Do we just fucking sit around and get destroyed? Nanook. The destruction. The Legion has the blessing. Is blessing like literally like it, a god has blessed them or just... God, her outfit is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. No, I could pull. I pulled the character just now. But I don't know if I should. He's the one who can help us turn the tides. So <laughs> Several world ending beings in play here. Yeah, the story is a very, in a very grand like scheme. <laughs> Where I'm like, holy shit, what the hell is going on? Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji-chan?Yoji
One turn KO. Isn't this supposed to take place in the same universe as Genshin and the last Honkai? It, it, I, I didn't hear about that. Like, it's technically the same universe as the last uh, Genshin, or as Genshin. So... Wait, no, it's not this. There was a different one. Is it this? Is this the rolling? Yeah. So... Oh, I already spent my one pass. Sixteen hundred for ten. So I need one sixty per roll. Yeah, I can't roll yet. I don't have enough. <laughs> Gotta be way into the future. I mean, it's in space. You know, like it could be same universes, but on different ends of the universe or something. It doesn't, it's like technically the same, but like it doesn't really matter. Um, no, nah, I'm just gonna attack. Blast. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Pulsion bridge. It's just like hollow bridges. Can't roll. I I don't have the I, I don't have the resources to get the waifus, man. Sorry. Genshin, Honkai Impact 3, and Honkai Star Rail are parallel universes on the imaginary tree. Okay. So maybe in the future that's possibly maybe in like a uh, slim chance going to matter but probably not i'm assuming is it says i could wish but like i don't have like the actual resources to make the pull so i think it's like i can wish but not like in practicality because i'm I'd have to spend money. Did you look in the mail to see if you had a free five star? Um, where's the mail? Is this the mail? Is this the mail? Oh, I saw the mail though. Honkai Star Player Survey. I'm not filling out a survey. But is this for rolls? Fifty stellar jades. Oh, wait, I, I just got it for free. Oh, the seriousness of breakfast. Okay. Oh, serval erudition. Permanent note and trail stack. Okay, that's cool, I guess. I got a new character. Is she good? Is Serval good? Damn. So the fr free five star is gone. Do the survey later. I should have started last month. Just a little unlucky on the timing, I guess. Uh, yes. Yes, great free to play character. All right. 
Let's level her up. She looks kind of like Taylor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up. I'm shutting up. I'm sorry. That was, that was dumb. I didn't... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. What does she do? <laughs> I told you. Told told me what. What is her ability? Ultimate AOE. Lightning damage equal to 108% of its servo's attack. All enemies. Yeah. All right. I don't have an electric book that I can give you. So, I'm sorry. AoE lightning damage. Gotcha. Oh, let's fight this guy. Weakness. Um. ルールは破るためにある。逃がさないわ。逃がさないわ。あんたのために用意したのよ。Holy orbital strike cannon. Arasoi,意味はない。盛り上がってるじゃん。乗ってる。十二万千。楽しいんでか。十二万千。楽しいんでか。二十九ヶ月ありがとう。楽しいですよ。あ、死んだ。初めて死んだ。始めるか。え、ちょっとやばい、やばいかもしれない。Wait, am I gonna lose?速戦即決。I'm gonna lose. ルールは破るためにある。やっ。まだ分かってないのね。人間は星空を掌握する欲望を隠さない。私もよ。No. No, <laughs> dude, I like I died of trash. Right. I missed. <laughs> Loser. L. Hold on, I'm I'm just gonna play this better. Watch. These guys hit hard. Um, 
No. <laughs> Wait. They're so strong. What the fuck? Um. No, wait, why is this guy so strong, guys? I'm not pretending, no. I'm too low level, I guess. Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> like, I, I got healed, I got saved. Um, I don't have anything to level up. Is this, is this trash mob that strong? It's level 11. Okay, actually that, it's too high level. <laughs> Wait, how, what level is this? Level six. Why is that one so high level? I'm going to go back to that one. Fire, ice, electric, right? I think, because it's... <laughs> Is fighting just applicable to, like, everything? Or how does that work? Plays guitar too. <laughs> what does that mean? What's wrong with playing the guitar? <laughs> Electric. <laughs> Electric. Okay. Do a blast on this because it's electric. Um, and I guess we'll do a one of these. This attack is sick, though. That's pretty sick. Battle start two of two. Wait, what? Get electric. Um. Yeah, they're all weak to electric, so except the middle one, or I guess they're yeah, they are all weak to. Oh, I know. Wait, what is that? But this is double electric. Shock. What icon is this? <laughs> what icon is that? It's the same color as electric. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I identify that, like, color correctly <laughs> or not. I don't know.
collect. Guys, should I get Subway today? <laughs> I know I'm a little out of nowhere. I'm hungry. Yes. Would I be allowed? Yeah, we got a couple subs today, right? Couple subs, you know, commemorate subs with a sub, you know? And go get Subway. Minus two. <laughs> what is minus two? Is that like a... Is that an RP thing? Where people like plus one? Where's the healing thing? I need to heal, bro. Because I'm just going to keep going. Oh, there's one right there. It means your joke was bad and you should feel bad. You're you're a downer, dude. You're a downer, man. Come on. You don't have to call someone out for having a bad joke, okay? Why did it just land? Come on. Just crush us all, man. When I'm fighting, I, how am I going to fight this? <laughs> We're just fucked. Aren't we? <laughs> Holy. There's no electric weakness. This character was not built for this fight. <laughs> little, little unfortunate. Is this a, is this a loss event? Like, uh, like, uh, you're not supposed to win this one. I'm just testing out toxicity today. Oh man, dude, she's comboing off herself. Holy, she's OP. This doesn't really matter. Let's go finish it off. Um, yeah, I don't <laughs> it doesn't really matter which one I go for here. Total annihilation. Dude, this this boss is easier than that trash mob from earlier. <laughs> Alright. I have so many skill points, I, I might as well just dump them all. Don't 
Antimatter engine has been broken. Doomsday blast, 100%. The Zimbies has suffered heavy damage. Its weakness is exposed. Go. Go. Kill it. The beast is completely regenerated. And it's preparing to attack again. What do you mean? I just one hit KO the fucking core. Come on. No. It is a loss event. There's no way we were supposed to win this one. <laughs> There's no way. Fuck. <laughs> what the hell? You can win, I think. Did you win? Actually, don't answer that. I'm I am gonna win. Just watch. All right, we're fucked. Dude, come on! <laughs> How did you regen already? When the dawn is dark. Mother, mother, da. I don't I don't know if I can win this one guys. <laughs> I don't I don't think I can. Impending doom. What do I do? <laughs> oh my god, I'm barely alive. I'm barely alive. I have 3 HP. Can I hold on to this? Holy shit. If you don't win this, dude, it's so hard. Okay, the beast is exposed. Dude, the beast is zero. Battle over. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We did it. We did it. Dude, that was so hard. That was crazy close. That was crazy close. Holy shit, did I just Giga Chad block a god beam? My champ. That was hype. Reach the end of the story in your own way. They have already noticed you. Who was that? Who's that? Is that Yang? That's a welt Yang. They're setting up a story. They've been saving, setting this up since Warcraft 3. Is this the space station? Hello there. Hi, I'm March. Um. Did we win? Oh, 
目を覚ましたら会いに来るようにって姫子が言ってたようちは他にやることがあるから一緒に行けないんだけどそうだビーコンを交換しようよビーコンズこれはビーコンもしもいつでもメッセージを送って You exchange your cell phone number. Oh. Damn, I, I got her number, dude. Dude, I, I put myself out there. I protected her from the giant god beam. Got her number? Am I, am I, is my character a Giga Chat or what? I got her number. I'm in. Hey there, this is March. Smiley, Yumeko wants to talk to you about something. Don't forget. Shadow of Destruction. It's a weapon or something? Material for raising trailblazer or destruction of Eidolon's level. Eidolon. Definitely Eidolons will enhance a character's abilities. Activate Eidolon. When enemies are defeated during the trailblazers, trail ultimate the trailblazers will generate 10 extra energy. Alright, cool. So I'm guessing that'll just kind of come along with the story beats. Um, as we get through. What characters should I uh, pour into? Which characters are like decent right now that I should level up? When you finish this part, an Easter egg to say you don't want to join the Express, then go to Herta and tell her you want to stay. Asta, I guess. Serve as good F2P DPS that will carry you far. We never went back for that one trash mob. Which ones? I guess the question I should be asking is which one should I not vote for? Also, no congrats on the on the raffle win there. Honestly, probably Trailblazer, but don't level traces because Harmony Trailblazer on top. I don't know what that means. <laughs> They're all worth to at least 40. Okay. All right. Not Trailblazer. Trail. So I should level everyone but my character. If he levels Trailblazer, he can one day, once a day, get Harmony MC. What's Harmony MC? Can I roll you, please? I need to roll you. Holy shit, I have so many characters already. <laughs> Say you didn't want to join? Tell Herta you want to stay. Oh, this is Herta. You're a robot? Hey, genius society. Laughter.笑いたければ笑って。あのザンダーがつけた滑稽な名前を。it's a really cool Easter egg. Okay. Okay. Blue, what's the way, Karamamurta, me, that, 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 that,
どこの誰か知らないけどまさかこんなお子ちゃまの体で拘束を成功させるなんて Wait, so I have the cancer in my body? What's up, Lammy? Don't call me little one. My name is Zet. Must you two discuss this in front of me? Um. Damn, I don't like her already. <laughs> I'm the cancer of all worlds or whatever. Dude, I have giga cancer in my body. I have giga space cancer within me, dude. This is fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked. It's over for me. How's it going, Lammy? You're gonna be playing Wuwa? That, that's the other gacha game, right? That's like the new one that's coming out? Probably not. Just cause, um... I'll totally stick to that phone for more than 30 minutes. Probably not. I'll play it if it has a good story. Or like really good gameplay. But I doubt it because it's a gacha game. So, it apparently does. I mean, it's only been out. We're like, is it even out? I don't know. It's coming out soon. Should watch the trailers. I mean, we'll have to see. It, it, yeah, we'll have to see if it's, the story's good. If it has a good story, I might try it, but... Um... I don't really... I'm not really, like, a gotcha guy, you know? So, probably not. <laughs> Uh, just from the get-go, at least. Um... I say no way. Is this, is this what you want me to say? I thought Zero what Wuwa was. Thank you, Kuros. Yeah, we talked about it earlier on. It was like... Wo Wuthering Waves. Yeah, that's what it was. Wuthering Waves. These kinds of games all about aesthetic preference and waifu slash gaifus. <laughs> is that like guy waifu? I I guess. I'm not really like super big on the waifu stuff. Uh personally. So Yeah, I'm, it's not husbando. Yeah, I guess that is what it is, yeah. Um but yeah, I'm not really big into that kind of stuff, so... I guess Gacha's really not, like, for me, necessarily. What does Wuthering mean? Wuthering is a regional term used in Yorkshire, England, to describe turbulent or stormy weather. Turbulent waves. So I guess that's what that means. Hello, Tarun Gleb. Thanks for notifying me of where the best viewers are. Beusa, is this where you want me to say no way? I hate the sound of that H word though, so I say Gaifu, lads, boys, etc. I'd rather even say daddy. <laughs> I say no way. How do you draw blood without damaging my blood vessels? Is what she's. She just said she would. She could draw blood without. Damaging my blood vessels. You know, I thought, um... I thought the leg thing was like a visual glitch or something. But I just realized she is like a robot. Or whatever. Where are all the like OP characters such up uppity like asshole fucking jackasses? 
Why is she such a bitch? I don't like this character. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Herta. Fuck you. What is wrong with her, dude? I love Herta. She has a song they made only in the Japanese version. Is that a quick question? Best girl? This one. <laughs> right here. This one right here. Dude, she's being an asshole to me. Why would I like her? Do you guys just like being abused by women? <laughs> yes, maybe. You motherfuckers need help. <laughs> you guys need help. See you after ads. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> hear what I'm saying. Ads, mod check? You, you're not getting ads? If you're not getting ads, that's good for me. You know? Like, you get to stay around. I'm only playing the ads so that pre rolls don't happen, so. If you're able to get around the ads. More power to you. Um, like it doesn't Twitch doesn't play ads. Thanks for the gift from Sonic. Thank you, appreciate it. Three months. Oh, three. Thank you for the three months of gifts to Kiros. Thank you. Oh, wait. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I wasn't looking and I clicked on something. <laughs> Was that the one where I wasn't supposed to click? I think I fucked up. Um... <laughs> Come find me when you made your decision. So, did I fuck up? Hey, Zet, it's Herta. I need you for something good. Come to my office quickly. I'm waiting. But you're right next to me. Hi, I'm currently unavailable. I won't be contacting you later. Himoko has left the team. Open team setup to adjust your team comp. Let's add Asta. <laughs> I'm going to miss Himeko. How far into the game is this? Like an hour or whatever. I, I don't know. How long have I been playing? So she has more she can just like swap consciousness or something. I haven't moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one whenever wherever I'm needed. I didn't make it out of the tutorial for this. <laughs> oh my god. 
考えてみてあまりにも不思議な存在でしょ中には私やあなたのように普通の人類だったアイオーンもいるわよなのに何かしらの方法で想像を超える力を手にした神々たちは謎めいていて強大で静寂で恐ろしいアイオンの謎は一言では語り尽くせないのアイオンはどうしてどうやって Are they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? That, have you ever thought about these questions? これらの問題について考えたことはある42 All the time 科学の基礎は知識を求めることだしそして今 The real tutorial was the friends we made along the way だからあなたもこのプロジェクトに参加して私たちと共に行動する機会をあげる OK 天才クラブのメンバー4人で協力してプログラムを書き上げたの Simulated universe is the taxing マシンの中には宇宙がある The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe, just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. The metaverse! Seriously, don't ride that hype train. Oh, is so taxing. Like on your PC? What if we made no friends, Sag? Okay, we're I feel blessed. Usa gave me a gift once, and then Sonic did. Both on a channel I don't watch. Usa, Usa, happy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. Simulated universe. First closed beta. So, so when you touch it. Is the is the Herta conversation thing gonna come up soon? Or was it the thing I fucked up typing? Everybody's still sitting in the office. The simulated universe generated from your memories. There's only the alpha test server where the features are not fully available. Now try to walk around. Weakness. Really those two kids so you don't have to fight alone. How very kind of me, no? I just turned on auto combat. So this is what like Honkai streamers do when they like play this game or like they stream this game. They don't feel like playing. They just need something like going on in the background. They just click the auto combat and then they like talk to chat. Clip path. I swear. Is this a new trick by Herta? Is this some kind of role play? Look up and find. Countless copper ore, amber, and opal falling from the sky. This is a wondrous mineral rain. In the steam, the colossal things stretched their spine from the mantle with a sledgehammer gripped in their broad palm. You opened your eyes and realized that this is actually clip out the Aeon of Preservation. Some kind of role playing? There's a huge roar around them. This is a warning for you. Then they disappear before your eyes. My calculations are correct. Click path, the Aeon of Preservation has really appeared. Herta's voice suddenly sounded, and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Aeon of Trailblaze. Akivili's revival has attracted an old friend. Uh... Okay. I don't understand what, what is happening. Can someone give me a TLDR on what's happening so far? Just kind of skip through this shit, not gonna lie. Is it is it not important? They, they have run away. We saw it was the simulated Aeon, carefully cultivated by Ron, May, and Screwlum. 
This is so confusing. The simulated Aeons will ignore us just like the real ones. So I set your simulated identity as Akivili, Aeon of Trailblaze to attract them. The Clifford time hurt to says, now it seems that my judgment is correct. Next time you run into the Aeons, try to get something out of them. What do you want to know? Myth of the Aeons, anecdotes, love stories, the origin of the universe. Anything will do. Or it was annoyed. Just think of something. Cover you for the test. See, I used my clearance to enhance your blessings. Now you can go have some fun. Don't ask why. Just thank me. Go pick one. Pick the two star. Characters that receive a shield at, end the, at the end of the turn. Someone ping me when he's done reading this shit. <laughs> That's like the whole game though, isn't it? <laughs> it's just me reading stuff. Just go kind of quick, but it's a tutorial. Okay. I shouldn't have used that because this. Because these guys aren't really strong. Or, uh, this, this guy... No, that's not what I'm trying to say. This guy is not, um... I should have done single target there. I didn't matter. Eventually, not exactly. Alas, Clipot didn't come. I guess as much. Pick the blessing that turns shields into damage and hurry onward. Now, after attacking enemies, the attacking character deals quick damage based on the current total shield on effect on the ally team. There's also auto battling. True. But is this... I don't know if it's safe to auto battle. Yeah, this guy recovers so fast. All these enemies recover from break so fast. Alright. I'll battle start two of three. Um Um I don't want to do auto battling because if I do if I start doing auto battling I'm gonna start like going out of it a little bit and I need to keep my mind sharp <laughs> I sound like I have dementia or something <laughs> no I need to like you know participate or else I'm gonna get like bored no, we're not doing autos. I don't like auto battling. Not not yet anyway. Um Damn. Jiga Chad. Battle over. 2x please turn it on please. <laughs> you guys, why are you guys are why are you guys so determined to not see me play the game, huh? Come on. After a character is hit by an attack, deals quick damage on that attacking enemy based on already enhanced, already has, already has. Okay. Darn it.
Well, they probably won't come. Sorry, I temporarily revoked your activity permissions. Uh, I need to apologize to you about something. I confess, I'm a little too eager for success. I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. Clipbot's appearance is probably just a coincidence. That's it, anyway. I'm sorry. What is she talking about? <laughs> is it just me? I don't understand what's going on. You go 2x, normal feels slow as a bitch. Okay. I, I'll turn on 2x. Why is leveling Trailblazer bad? All these guys have physical weakness. I think leveling Trailblazer is fine. Um, nice. The shield is a lot more OP than I thought. World complete. The fight is over and you wait in place, but nothing happens. Erta? There was a long silence followed by a deep sigh from I was expecting them to appear. Never mind. I'll switch off the simulated universe then. Only take a second. You won't feel a thing. Let's chat back in reality. Herta? They came. You hear Herta's stunned words. No, not them. It's another Aeon. It's... Your voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this as if Herta's voice... Herta's words solidified and the whole simulated universe became somehow real. Feel that you see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments and their facial features. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um... But don't level his traces. He's the worst rated. Okay. Normal is what you run if you want to enjoy the effects or whatever. There's no reason to wait longer if you don't have to. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like when you play Pokemon and you have like the move animations on. Or if you just turn them off. Um. Yeah. You know how I'm Genshin? How in Genshin you gain the other elements? It's like that. This original Trailblazer is the worst. Okay. You see Kafka, her body stretched, deformed, and rubber banded, rubbed together with the umbrella in her hand, turning into water droplets and falling at your feet. What? What is happening? Find herself becoming, become a weeping ad living baby with an uncut umbilical cord. You remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. You find yourself. Okay. Okay. This is too much. Some fucking writer at Hoyoverse was fucking jacking themselves off on like this fucking literal masterpiece that they've written. But th this is just making absolutely no sense to anybody that's playing this game right now. What the fuck is happening? I find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss reaching out to catch the shooting star. Then their voice suddenly came. The robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. You laugh at exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. Where you can say anything, they suddenly disappear. Wait, let's talk about Kafka. We did it, Herter yells with excitement. That was Fuli. They thought you were the fallen Echivili, so they actively started a conversation with you. Fully is valuable for our research because they have the most memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as Noah's Aeon of Erudition does. Come on out, Zed. I want to upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future. Feels like a hook pulled out of your belly button and your entire body tumbled in a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Harta's office. Your first experience of the simulated universe had ended. This shit does not really matter. Promise, don't listen to Herta. This is just raw yap. Good morning, Jenny. Hello. Go check out Jenny. 
Oh, this is when you're playing Mario 64. This is a cannonless clip. Hopefully it plays in full. It might cu get cut off. Uh, uh. <laughs> you got cut off. That was the one where you got the cannonless though. Wish Jenny a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jenny. Hope you're having a good break so far. Um, yeah, I don't know. Go check her out. Uh, go ahead and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. You should show me some more respect. Oh, oh you're right. I got too excited. Sorry that I, re I do respect you. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? I've upgraded the simulated universe. It has, now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. This part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? Um, not as good as adding more rewards. Oh, but we will. After all, you're going to be spending more time on this project. In a nutshell, this is a long scaled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready to prepare to get back to the simulated universe. I'll be out some more, don't worry. Herta. I got her. I got her character. Oh, I, ha I just have her now. Okay. Um, I'm going to swap out Dan Hang. I think March 7th is better than Dan Hang. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Herta is really good early game. Yeah, I'm... I'll... T I mean, is it either or can I do both? M to open navigation. Fast travel. Switch to the supply zone. Select space hangers to help bring it to the destination quickly. Wait, so simulated universe is just a simulation? Hmm. Monka. Hmm. You can, but Asta is good generally. She's good in teams. What if I do Asta March 7th and then I swap out Serval for Herta? Oh, wait, no, but they're both ice. Okay, we'll just keep March. March in there. Probably want more variety to, like, be prepared, right? Is what I'm assuming. Um, let's level up a little bit. But it's May. <laughs> True. I guess I don't really care about being really good early game necessarily. So have you thought things through? Say no. I need some time to think. Leave. Then go to Herta. TP to Herta. Where was she? What's up? I only answer questions about the simulated universe. I'm still very confused. 
Oh, other Herita. Oh, so this Herita is only for... Um... For the simulated universe. So simulated universe, that's just like a little like game you can play to grind. Wait, I can't see. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get a better camera angle. Um... It's like, it's a roguelike. Okay. For content. The backseating is strong this one. Mods! Permavan Usu Usuchu for backseating. What I do? About the decision? About the express? About the express? About the decision? Can I return to the space station? Is this what what I what I do? Which one do I say? Yes. Of course, I'll still be waiting here waiting for you. And the space station will be waiting for you. Returning, it's not impossible. If you want to be a researcher, you can just ask Asta. She's fine with that, I have no complaints. No, hold on, you have a Stellaron within you. I think it's better if you left and came back occasionally. It might be dangerous if you stay for too long. Is that it? Can I say- oh. You're way too dangerous. I don't mind personally, but I don't want Asta and others to take the risk. Wouldn't want the Stellaron in you to hurt all the people in space in the space station either, right? Just come back when you will always be welcome to the space station, just don't stay for too long. I really want to stay. You really are weird. What's so good about this place? Even I don't like staying here. Fine. Fine. Okay. So do I go and talk to Asta now? Um, Herta says I can stay. え?ミス、ヘルトがこの女が She's not going to care a lot about what you think. Wait, is that it? <laughs> what do I do now? Think three and then go back to Herta. You want to come back and help? Of course, I wouldn't refuse you. That hang helped inventory our rare items. March 7th said she would help out as much as she can and connected over 50 wires in the electrical room. Everyone from the express is so obliging. And I think you're pretty good at meddling too, Zet. Okay. Alright. Alright. 
about the decision. Can I stay? Also, all this dialogue will be gone very soon, so feel free to read as much as you can. But she's already talked to her. I promise it's worth. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Being an MC is equivalent to being a meddler, true. You're just wandering around or if you're... Well, that would be fine. But if you're going to work in the space station long term, the serum may have some serious effects on the station fragment. Please assure that's a risk I cannot take. It's just your enthusiasm for the space station, but I'm afraid I have to turn you away. She said no. Is the damage to the space station serious? What the fuck? Go to Himeko and then see if there's extra dialogue? <laughs> Where's Himeko? Where is she? I swear this is real. <laughs> Where's Himeko? Different TP. Where's she at? Where am I supposed to go? To the yellow star. Follow main quest? Oh yeah, we were talking to Nico earlier. Have you thought things through? I made up my mind, I'll stay. Herta and Asta both gave me the green light. So long, Kimiko. Does the game end? あなたは姫子の誘いを断った。来てきの響きとともに請求列車は間もなく出発するだろう。偶然であった友人たちはあなたに手を振り、別れを告げる。請求列車が旅立った後、宇宙ステーションは。We're getting like Fallout style end credits. Doesn't take long for her to lose his interest in you, and the Stellaron Asa arranges for you to become a researcher at the space station. You spend a peaceful life. The experience was a few times before disappearing for good. You hear story was at the final end of the express and the Stellaron Hunters shake the universe to its very core. Sometimes you wonder whether de destiny would have changed had you stepped on that train. <laughs> but those stories are no longer for you. Honkai <laughs> Star Rail. Lead actor Zet. <laughs> Question mark as March 7th. They just not want to credit credit that person or the, they want to stay anonymous. Now you got to do it all from the beginning. You got to start all over. Are you serious? No, you're you're no, you're trolling, man. There's no way. There's no way I have to do this from the beginning. May this journey lead us starward. She's not. She's not. Are you serious? It just wipes my save? What do you mean? 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 Dude, I'm not playing this fucking game from zero, man. It's faster this time, I promise.
It's faster? Dude, I'm fucking... Are you... <sighs> fuck you. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh my god. I hate you guys, dude. Come on. <laughs> I want to join. Okay, Kona. This is so good, this song. Now we see this character. Who is that? <laughs> you guys and your little bit. I'm Pom Pom the Conductor. Okay. Cool. Inter Astral Guide. Oh, this is my, like... I guess it's like a play guide. It's really, you can learn combat-related knowledge and receive corresponding rewards. If I do these, I get like rolls and resources and whatever. Okay, it's making me do one. Skill and skill points. Yeah. The enemy will only receive skill damage. Use skills to defeat enemies. Okay. Who the fuck is this guy? Well, I'm not going to use skills. But I don't have fire or electric. I'm fighting wind and ice, I think. Oh, but they take damage anyway. Does this count as skill damage? Oops. Okay, well, I guess it didn't count as skill damage. Okay, so this also doesn't count as damage? Yeah, because it's not skill. Okay. Um I don't know why I keep activating the ult like it's gonna do anything. Alright, cool. You can still damage, just won't break their elemental shield. Okay. Single target damage does count, it's just less. Okay. Okay. Energy and ultimate. Dailies unlocked. Almost. <laughs> I don't want to do dailies. There ain't no way I'm doing dailies. I don't have the time for this. <laughs> uh, but this is kind of just tutorial stuff, so I guess I'll do it. So when you receive ultimate damage, use ultimates to defeat enemies. Okay. Oh, 
よ。敵データ収集完了捕獲マーク起動愉快な反撃の時間です愉快な反撃の時間ですおやおやいい敵ターゲットを確認敵ターゲットを確認おやいい敵データ収集完了愉快な反撃の時間です It is just so easy you can do them all in like three minutes Yeah, but I don't want to log into a game for three minutes. You know. <laughs> I just don't want to even turn it on. It's so easy. Yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> Energy is only receive weakness break damage. Okay. Once their weakness is broken, energies will suffer an additional hit of break damage. What if the weakness break... On enemies, characters will also impose various debuffs on enemies. Ouch. 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 This feels slow. Rule <laughs> <laughs> You have to stop talking back? To who? I know, but that's how you gain pulls. I recommend Robin. I'll BRB to backseat more. <laughs> Alright, gotcha. Right, I'm not doing more of these challenges. No, but actually, though, like China banning dailies is actually so nice. Gives you time to do other things. Omni synthesizer. What does this do? I'm likely to complain long wait before the blade's edge. What is this? Oh, this is like character trials and shit. Okay. Let's just use all our resources that we have on hand. All right. Mo kita no ka? Shako jire to yu mono shiran yo ja na. Sore de ore ni nan no yo ja? Where's March 7th's room? なの。ああ、そういえば、お前が is that a phonograph? Nope, I don't know what it is, but I just clicked the multiple choice. Okay. 
あれは少し改造されているようじゃ。March 7th best girl. Now that's Himiko. Stop perving on March 7th? I'm not, dude. I don't even like her that much. She's kind of annoying. Just too much for me. You mean Himiko? No, it's Himeko. Yeah, I don't like her that much. Alright, I'll look around. Why does Pom Pom hate my ass so much? So they have a like a record player. Click anywhere in the blank area to choose timeline. Oh, I can play a song. Which one is the best song? I can't even hear the music. I don't like the song. Okay. Kind of reminds me of like a JRPG waiting room. I like this one. Okay. We need to yell, bro. We love EOD in this chat. What did EOD say? <laughs> Maybe it's actually Hey Miko. <laughs> a little bit of a stretch. It's me, Zet. Oh, it's you. The door's not locked. Come in. Uh, I don't really want to, but I guess I am. Hey, can I help you? Just looking around. Feel free. This is open to everyone on the express. What is Akibili? I'm not really sure I understand the lore so far. Doesn't have to say anything to be a homie? True. I was just wondering why you said it. But yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, dude, it's almost like you're in a JRPG waiting room. This isn't a JRPG. <laughs> Checkmate. I enter the collected data into Archives Data Bank. I try to catalog people and places the express encounters. Compare and contrast them with the existing records. Okay. What do you mean it's not? Well, I mean, it's, it's not. Yo-Yo <laughs> is not Japanese. Like, this isn't even, like, a is Avatar an anime thing. Because, you know, it's not about art style. It's literally, like, Japanese RPG. <laughs> it's not Japanese RPG. It's a C RPG. They're speaking Japanese. So what? <laughs> so what? 
MiHoYo or HoYoVerse, whatever it is. Open the character screen. View character details. The data bank, you can view the character's story and voice lines. I don't care. <laughs> That's cool. You knock, but there's no response. The door's unlocked. Should I go in? Just a little peek? Wait, my character has a voice. She's not here. Much down this bed. There's a rabbit pillow and a bear pillow. Okay. Much down the desk. You fail to see anything that resembles a diary. Why am I trying to look for a diary? Make a choice I want to regret. Reach the future. Okay, I like the Himiko picture. Give me more of those. The shy full length mirror. No matter how much you fiddle with it, it won't move. Okay, I'm here. Dostano, Nanika, Itagana Costerevane Antaganio Kitainoka, Daitaino Sasiva Titerma. About the galaxy. Oh no. Whenever in need guidance, ask kindly for Maiko with giving the voice of guidance. Maiko is the beast and light showing the light for Zeto faded in the dark. Trust Maiko as he knows the experience playing this game. Thanks, man. The galaxy is endlessly vast. I don't know where to begin, especially if you ask me that so suddenly. About the Aeons. Aeons are the most mysterious beings in the galaxy. All we know is that they ascended from the form of the intelligent beings. It's from the why, how and why, even the heavyweights over at the Genius Society haven't the slightest clue. Upon ascending to Aeon Hood, they be the beings gain power over the paths, free to choose from the allocation of imaginary energy, however. However they, wi however they wish. While suffering the restriction of the pre premium mobile. Premium mobile sounds like a, a cheap phone company. The destruction seeks only to destroy the universe while the angel of erudition wants to find the answer to, for all that exists. And on preservation of conditions to forge walls and the Aeon of Enigmata devotes themselves to obscuring all that is now. Cloud of mystery shrouds the Aeons. Heard Madame Herta recruited a team to try and solve the mysteries about them. Okay. Um. About its nature. I'm in many different worlds. I still know very little about the galaxy, simply because it's too vast. As for its nature, there are a few theories that I can share with you. The most popular is probably the Cosmos Tree Theory, proposed by Xandar. Xandar, emanator of erudition and the first member of the Genius Society. Wait, I thought... Oh no, it's not Aeon of erudition, so it's not an Aeon? You can pair the galaxy to an enormous imaginary tree with its leaves being individual universes. Therefore, only Aeons who draw their energy from the imaginary and emanators who are blessed by Aeons can travel through the spaces filled with imaginary energy. However, the theory has its flaws. Elias Salas, the 56th man of the Genius Society, invented remote dissection, disproving that imaginary is that the imaginary is unique. This shook the foundation of the cosmos tree theory. What the fuck? Huh? Stre stretching theory. Heat torch theory and the parallel imaging theory. The Riddlers claim the galaxy is just a dream and Nine's followers seem to like that claim. Is this supposed to make sense to me? This is 
it's so confusing. <laughs> the cosmos tree. Oh my god, it's Yggdrasil, the world tree. <sighs> All right. You took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. Where's Dan Hang? You won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. What's this? Oh whoa, what's this? Oh whoa? It's a little gift from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Level 2 rewards. Claim. Level 3 rewards. Claim. Nice. Level 4 rewards. Claim. Level 5 rewards. Claim. Level 6 rewards. Claim. Level 7 rewards. Nice. Alright. Okay, everyone, hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always run around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom is going to start the final preparations for the jump. Is it a temple on standard if you have any? I think I have a couple now. Which one's the pulling? Um, This one. Which one's standard? Is it the bottom one? Starter warp? Is this it? On the beginner banner. This? Departure warp? Okay. I have eight. Or should I wait to get 10? Oh wait, no, I have 21. I see. So I get 10 rolls for 8. This is not going to be it, dude. There's no way. Nope, Sag. <laughs> Eyes of the Prey. That's oh, a cone. Passkey. Did I get a character? Did I get any character? Nope. Did I do another roll? Oh, that was a weapon. Yeah. All right. My last one. Damn it. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh. Sword play. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Okay, so it's this is the same as Genshin. So I just have to roll and then Okay. You said don't level traces. Should I level light cone for the my my character? Look, you have a guaranteed five star and fifty. It's really nice. It's better than how Genshin treats you. Uh, and then you can choose a character after 200 wishes. Okay. Yeah. That one is great. What are other ones I could have? 
the hunt night night and nihility or in nihility await salvation Do I have a nihility or hunt character? How do I know? Oh, it says like here. Hunt. What is she? Unequipped? She's an erudition. Okay, well, I don't have anything for her yet, so it's fine. All right, also, let's level the characters. It's getting a little hard to level these guys. All right, let's go. Let's warp. You get you you'll get to use resin soon. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Whoa. Whoa. の体の中に性格とかいうわけのわからないものまで。星を捕まえてるの。うちもやったことあるよ。な。星じゃなくて。ライトだったんだけどね。氷の中から目覚めた時、おぼろげに星の光が見えたんだ。だから思わず手を
Let's talk to this guy, Welt Yang. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get to them after a few more. Is this the guy from Crook on a Basket who has glasses on? On Satan? I swear I've heard this voice before. Like the voice actor. I think it is. It's been a thousands of years since the last time the Exorcist of visit. I mean, it's been a thousand years. Yeah, I mean, thousands of years. That's a long time. It's like you'll fall right to sleep after sitting on it. Is she stupid? <laughs> is she stupid? <laughs> she might be funny, but is she stupid? She was just warned of this. Yarilo 6. Why are there only two tables for that gigantic seat? Good question. I guess it's like train seats, so you're not supposed to, like, have tables. Anomaly? We're stuck on this planet? The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Okay. Take an order train, for example. It's like, the, like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. Me。あ、君の体内にある性格と同じ物質だ。Anomaly. Have I seen Putin's table? No. I'm almost past the tutorial. What should we do? Sinpasinai レッカイと呼ばれる空間的な歪みを生む。ヤリーロ6が our current theory is that Celerons are seeds of disaster planted by a certain Aeon throughout the universe. Okay. Can't continue Trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. So we're like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights. Yeah, 
Who's paying us? They actually got the mouth movements pretty like, good. You probably have some golds. What are, what are your golds? You check after this? Can't it be for dramatic dinners with assorted humans to act as a metaphor for the distance between them? Putin's table? <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, like you're so far beneath me. Like we're no, not even anywhere close to being alike. That's the message. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron is responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to Express. We'll deal with the rest. All right. You're not coming? Can you pull Himeko? Yes. She's a standard. I want her. Like how Diluc is, but good. Diluc was good. Diluc was so good. She's like that. <laughs> okay, okay, check warps. Is that what you what do you what do you mean warps? You're talking about wishes. Oh, they're called warps. <laughs> I see. Oh yeah, Himiko. Pull for Jing Liu. Who's this? Which one's Jing Liu? I should pull for Robin? I only have one of these though. In nomen patris et fili et spiritus sancti escuchalos palabras de what los language am I getting cursed in? Los secretos escondidos en la noche. Plus antiguos dioses invocamos a hora la obra de la magia oculta nails. Mm, oculta nails. ¿Cómo está? 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 ¿Cómo Okay. Well, says it was caused by Stellaron. ベルトさんはそう考えているのか。ああ。正気がそう遇した空間阻害を考えると、その可能性は高い。マンカフン、いや、スクワイト。暫定的な測定を行ったところ、星の表面のとある場所だけが。if you pull, I would suggest Robin over Topaz. Should I not do the beginner pull anymore? Himika wants you, me, and March 7th to go together. Okay, 
じゃあ、出発の準備はいい。ありがとう。この星を見ると、つい思っちゃうんだ。この世界を満たす氷はうちと関係があるのかなって。まあ、うちを封じていたのは6層氷と呼ばれる珍しい物質で。I guess so, man. I I don't know. I don't know anything about this world. <laughs> no, unless we have to look ourselves. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. She just called herself a pretty girl. どうした。俺の顔に何か入ってきた。うん。Happy happy happy happy. never bothered her anyways though, then I just hate her more. There's a lot of pop culture references by the way. I think that was supposed to be a frozen one. Oh. She didn't say it like that in the Japanese here, though. But like the voice, anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Zero zero put Elsa in C tier. Yeah, no, I put her in like F or like D or something. Or, or probably ask. What was for Americans versus Japanese? The text is very different. Gotcha. But, I mean, Frozen was big here, too. She said, In Japanese, That's how the song goes. The coal never bothered me anyway. What is Frozen? Frozen's the Disney movie with Elsa in it. Of course you're fucking cold. You're wearing a skirt. Yes. <laughs> We want you to feel at home watching shows from other cultures, but the Frozen was big. When we land at the destination, do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikian Stadium? だから言わないでってば。俺たちはこの世界について何も知らない。一歩一歩慎重に進もう。大丈夫だよ。うちら that doesn't sound very inspiring. Alright, let's go. I'm just brain out from sitting in this heat with no AC writing my sob story for med schools. What do you have not AC? It broke today. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, 
What's this? A fire flower. What a strange object. It seems literally or really out of place in the sh snow plains. Maybe Mr. Yang will know what this is. Let's send a message and ask him. What is this, Mr. Yang? It is a calyx, a strange entity born from the phenomenon of space distortion. There's some reali reality data in the calyxes that might come in handy, but please be careful when coming in contact with them. The existence of these calyxes is still a mystery to us, and the danger within is incalculable. In your coming journey, you might come across other calyxes like this, and the reality data stored in different calyxes may vary, so look out for that. The enemies to obtain general materials. Been Enter as the peace guide. Game modes cost real, but has the power to play. This is resin, is what this is, right? This is a dungeon. That's how you start farming books. I'm not gonna farm books. I'm sorry. <laughs> Serval kind of reminds me of Taylor. Did I say that before? I think I said that before. Sorry. <laughs> Add me. In a second. Doitero, ミミを塞ぐものへの一番の対処法は目の覚める一撃を与えてやることだ。だ。ちょっとお兄さん。But you should recognize his voice also. He's a pretty big Japanese voice actor. I don't know. I don't really know voice actors. It's Captain Jeopard. Oh, yeah. Well, you're not silver main guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleased to meet you. The name's Sam Sampokos. I'm Zet. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. Business is bad these days, but if you're not, Sampokoski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's go get rich together. What does he think we are? Treasure hunters? Why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel that this main strength of the Superman Guards is being deployed in the front line. This is a golden opportunity. What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyways, a meeting like this has to be have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still, make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from the Silver Guard. Is there a settlement nearby? Settlement, what a literally turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in the world where the living still reside, our beloved Billabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but these names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out in existence is behind these impregnable walls. So the Aeon of pres preservation ma made that, I guess? And why are you hiding this now? Sampo is the voice of Pikachu? Oh, Sampo is the voice of Bulbasaur. You shut, shut up, man. <laughs> shut up, man. 
You guys wouldn't have watched Pokemon subbed anyway. You guys would watch that well, watch that shit dubbed. This guy's give me nothing. Okay. はあ、本当に新参者でしたか。これほどの初々しさ。見捨てては胸も痛むというもの。こうしましょう。僕は一応あなたたちの先輩ですから、ただで指導して差し上げます。この仕事には守るべきルールがたくさんある。Is there like a space like warmer that they're wearing to protect against the cold? Pokemon dub on top. I like the po Japanese Pokemon better. Maybe it means something more, something we can't yet understand. Maybe it's some evidence, some artifact of a higher dimension that we can't consciously perceive. I'm drawn across the universe to someone I, I haven't to kill seen this witch. in a decade who I what know is, she is about, probably bro? dead. Love what is, is the one thing. <laughs> she didn't even read the whole thing. It's too long. ですが、僕は心優しい散歩と呼ばれるくらい人助けが大好きなんです。あ、そう、我が友よ。僕についてきてください。もちろん、シルバーメインに見つからないよう声は抑えめてね。オッケー。レッツゴー。ところで、なん
I mean, they dressed him up, so he's not like a no nobody character, I guess. But oh, this guy is a somebody. He's a tank. Battle start. Jepper. This guy has no weakness. Oh, no, he does. Electric fighting. うちに出くわすなんてついてないね。動かないでね。今祝福してあげるから。即戦即決と行こう。ほら。<笑> It's, it's kind of tanky. Recover from break. Ouchies. Wait, I can't use my ult. You were so losing, dude. What do you mean? You can't just activate cutscene no jutsu. What the fuck? Dude, I was kicking your ass. I was kicking his ass. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do you mean you got me, dude? You didn't even KO any of us. Uh, we're not as accomplished. <laughs> あんたも見てたでしょ。せっかく手を貸してあげたのに、うちらを利用するなんて信じてうちがバカだった。私は自衛官で、仲裁人ではない。ベロブルグの市民として君たちには自らを弁護する権利がある。I'm not a citizen though. Does your equipment bear any resemblance to yours? Show him the photos, March. Yeah. Picture evidence. Nice idea. Nice idea. March then shows Jeopard a picture of the ice guard planet. It said that a long time ago, stranger, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here, but that after the eternal freeze, the blizzard made passage impossible and Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her, nothing more. Azars, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Good dialogue choice? Did that matter? Probably not. Come on, that's an image. That's a 2D image, bro. I know this would have been really hard to render, but come on, man. Alright, this is more like it. They couldn't have shown this. <laughs> come on, this looks even this looks cooler. Feels like it got a bit warmer. It's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? 
700 years ago, antimatter legion from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards, which buried the invading legion. Lobog was all that remained. Steadfast Arkans built the city. We built this city. Built this city on rock and roll. Real Kitty Perry moment. But I'm not here when he gets to it. Can someone pay me the fight in the end of Bellabog? Surely I don't get to the end of Bellabog today. How many hours would that be? He sure seems some weird stuff. A mark change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, you probably won't reach the end today. Gotcha. I'll probably do it next stream too. あれは侵食された空間。劣界から現れたものだな。知っているのか。そうだ。乾杯以外にも多くの脅威がある。君たちが見て I hate it when this happens. I'm walking and I'm still slower than the character I'm following. So I'm I can't like RP walk. But if I do sprinting, it's too fast. Come on. Maybe just 10 hours? Holy shit. <laughs> no, it's realistic. Asta is shorter. Okay, well, th that would hold if I picked a taller character and it was still the same. Do you think it will be the same? Clipoth Fort? Clipoth is a symbol of preservation. Okay. So it was the Aeon of preservation that did this. Or it wasn't them that did it, but it was named after it for good luck. Okay. This is the Supreme Guardian. Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog and the appointed... And appointed by the Ardeth architects. The certain guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current guardian is Madame Kokolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Okay. This sounds like a big deal. Mm, okay. <laughs> you always wear the same clothes, though. Uh, you look fine. March 7th reminds me of Uso. <laughs> but I think it's like her VTuber model that it reminds me of, not necessarily like her. That's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you? You may leave Bronya. 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 <laughs> よくやってくれたジェパード。貴様も下がってよい。ようこそ。カンパの向こう。いいえ。天外より訪れし客人というべきかしら。私は係アランド。いや、もうフロムスペース。ドンシムディヴェリーサプライズだ。私は係アランド
Her, her pants are crazy, by the way. Just, just saying. Oh, it doesn't auto follow? No. I feel like every single game, some, for some reason, can't get the follow speed right. So I'm gonna assume that this game is gonna have like a planet with a city for each of the aeons. So clip off the first one, there's like three other ones. Um, we've come to trailblaze this planet. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds, their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we've visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the antimatter legion. Soon after their revival, this planet suffered an eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as the fragmentum space corrosion began to occur, correct? The Stellarons were cast by the Aeon of Destruction. The Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. Fragmentums are a product of Stellaron. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seated with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you sp speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. Well, why should you care? Even if the Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them unless they had something to gain. What makes you think that? The pants? Being crazy? The, the thighs, dude. Showing a lot of thigh. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's crazy. Well, I'm not complaining. Please let us help you. Please help us locate the Stellaron. Um, please help us locate the Stellaron. Yeah, help us. If you can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. You know how to seal the Stellaron? We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly as real to the so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Belagbog has waited 700 years for. I'm willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Okay. Know the Aeon per world visited? I mean, it just... <laughs> This seems like the obvious way the story's gonna unfold. I don't know. Cocolia on top. She seems like an alright mom. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. Me, 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 thank you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not exhorting you further. Holy, those hips. Wait, what? Is she evil? 
Of course, I understand. Do not worry, I have a way. She's evil. We gotta kill her. Fuck. Don't clip, man. Don't clip. I don't. I don't want you to look like a DJ. <laughs> That's such a fitted outfit. Are you saying that's like good? It's like that's such a good outfit. Why did you clip again? <laughs> Since the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard, I've received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Um, it's an impressive figure. It's very reasonable. Uh, she's an imp she has an impressive figure. Yeah, she she has an impressive figure. She is she's she got some big stuff. Yeah, she's a big shot. We got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on. So cool. Stop clipping. <laughs> You literally are begging for clips in that command. True, true, but like not not these ones. Ones that make me look cool. When you visit Everwinter Momentum first, it's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. Take a sip of water. <sighs> if you enjoy music, you could head to Never Winter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... You'll see. If you're staying at... Gath Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. It's hard to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. What is that? It's like something from Fortnite. Corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. So we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. Hope all goes well for you. Okay. Zero no zesty only wants tasteful clips. How am I zesty? Okay, that's not true. I'm not zesty. Look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this, for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go take a look? Okay. Okay. There's no way these kids know what the fuck you're talking about. And perhaps the girls among us could refrain from acting like children? I'm sorry. Mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy. Sorry. The architects are followers of the Eon Clipoth. Okay. The gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal freeze. Okay. That's cool, I guess. <clears throat> She's a Fujoshi. Pela? But like she's into some degen shit? Yeah. An ally? I mean, it doesn't have to be an ally, it just can be really degenerate. <laughs> she writes fan fiction. That's the alley that Jeopard mentioned, the one contained by the frag Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how it closes to the city center. If they hadn't identified it, I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have closed down by now. We're back. This is your final warning. 
But my proof of property inside. I don't have any. Can't believe fragmental incursions spread into the city. No wonder there's so many soldiers stationed there. This world really is in dire straits. Sure is, but at least we're here. And once we steal the Stellaron, they can go back to the good life. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can get my proof of priority, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way, let me pass. I like this beam. That's cool. Eat the rich. Don't eat rich, no. I like the way she holds the staff when she shoots. I like the color of the the shot. Did Jeffers say there would be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor, outdoor performance. That heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? The city's so weird. Normally you want a heater inside a building, right? Is this how they repel the eternal freeze? So I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. Oh my god, it's Taylor Swift. Hello. It's Taylor Swift. Just got my payout for that study group I did, but transferring my balance from the prepaid debit card was six dollars, so I only got two hundred eighteen dollars from the two twenty-five. Damn. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Not a Swifty, by the way. She looks like Taylor Swift. Come on, man. Oh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious about the heater? It's just a standard Geomaro radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative di district. We only just got here. Everything's new to us. Only just got here. Figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met Cocolia. You must be that. What an honor. Where are my manners? I like her. I like Serval. Talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. I like Serval. Maybe if Taylor Swift was a gym leader, Taylor Swift could pull off this look. Or maybe Taylor Swift looks like her? No, no, Taylor was first. She, if she's second, she, she was modeled after Taylor. Um... What is Geomaro? It's an ore, a special energy source. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomaro. Geomaro grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport line shuttles it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Above and beneath the surface. You didn't know? Bellbog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. I feel like in a place with a lot of like rainfall, or I guess a snowfall in this case, underworlds would be kind of bad, because then like 
the snow would have to melt and then like it would go down, right? So the underworld would get flooded. Forgot about Geomero. Racism, it's like Arcane, by the way. I never watched Arcane. I don't know anything about League lore. So, but you I'm assuming Underworld just sucks. And they're, they're all racist toward the Underworld people. Nobody has moved between the Overworld and the Underworld. It's like East and West Germany. And I never said anything. Actually, forget I said that. Not political. I'm not political. Um. Thanks for your answers. <laughs> I'm not political, dude. Okay. Repair. Magnetological fluid threshold. We're going to do the module to just the circuit. Okay, I just got to get it flowing through everything. Endpoint. Repairs are complete when all endpoint circuits are connected. Okay. End. Okay. That was easy. Nice, you guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistant? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Okay. I love the Shinsengumi. Reiwa Shinsengumi. I love those puzzles. I miss them. Shinsengumi. Sure, why not? I was only kidding, just a joke. Well, I better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you and your wallet, of course. Isn't Shinsengumi like a singing thing? All right, well, talk to Serval. Now I guess it's time to go to their library or whatever. Trash can, not remarkable in any way. All right, let's go. They were the secret police under Tokugawa. <laughs> Look, man, I, I'm not good with history, <laughs> especially any history that's longer than like a hundred years or oh, lo longer ago. You can, you can look at all the trash cans and they tend to give Jade. Oh, okay. That one just was a dud, I guess. I don't want to have a, I don't want to have a pillow fight. どうせ、<笑> Are you going to focus on the main story or do side quests? Uh, I'll focus on MSQ. I might do a little bit of side questing. If there's anything interesting. I don't know if any of the side quest stories are like really good. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions for side quests, I'll be down to do them. Sometimes there's little interactions between random items. And the choice can give you unlimited rewards if you pick the right option. Okay. Only like one. It's not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. 
Were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Yeah, of course. This is my first expression. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. I knew there was something up with her. Something up with her? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. But it felt like she was looking through me, as in, I knew she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Mm, that is a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. It must have been the invisible man. There's no way we can get past dad hanging sharp eyes. Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Only one like, but like, man, mostly focus on main story, I say. Yeah, I agree. The main story is the way to go. The side quests are cute and good for currency, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care about grinding <laughs> for stats or anything, so. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. That's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It's a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Sleep. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling. Well, don't talk about it. Let's get to bed early and save our energy since the next few days could be tired. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off. I'll keep my guy in my party just to role play. Oh, I need to click. <laughs> you should try to do shinies on the closest. In the closet? I could have done a secret thing there. Oh, okay. We're allies. Allies of the guardians through generations. What do you want? To rebuild this dying world. To help you achieve your wish. Okay. Hotel corridor. Yeah, I did hear that. There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. If this is our escort, it's less friendly than I was expecting. You guys are assuming a lot. All I can see is their helmets. Maybe they're not here to escort us. I guess we'll have to find out. Go ahead and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. There's just some missable stuff. Gotcha. Ronya is waiting for you down, down below Herb and go and see her no tricks. We're in a lot of trouble. Why are they such assholes? Almost everyone in this game is fucking asshole to me. Mmm, I hit my food. あれ、あんたは昨日 what? Fuck you! Why?。Fuck 
今日の面談で重要な話をするってこれは間違いなく計画的な裏切りだまた囚人になるの三つも星を渡ってると似たようなことが起きるんだねそれはお前がいつも急に熱くなって計画もなしに行動するからだろうちも成長したよ今だって計画を考えてんの計画経緯<笑>そうだ二人ともあそこの路地を見て<笑> Dude, we're discussing this right in front of her. <laughs> あそこは劣界の侵食によって封鎖されている。ミツキ、逃げる準備だ。<laughs> Did they not hear us? 本当にいいの適当に言っただけなんだけど。It's now or never. Three of a kind. I guess we're a strange trio. An old Astral Express escape zone. Do you play cards? Two pair. Holy shit! Damn. They charge straight in, escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? The Serene Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Yes, ma'am. Bronya on top? This bitch just fucking tried to arrest us. Fuck her. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. That is what I must do. So, are you gonna jump in? Are you gonna be a pussy? Are you a pussy, Bronya? Think you're a pussy. There's them right. Better luck next time. Slope it. Uh, great work. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. So, what? Where are we now? Like we went through. Does it just teleport us into a weird, like a random place? The word bitch rolls off his tongue so naturally concerning true GS. That is, that is a coincidence. That has nothing to do with anything. Nah, I'm not sexist, man. I think I couldn't do 2x because it was the first time I was seeing that. You couldn't see, but Zero just used finger quotes. I didn't do it anything. Okay, you can't see my mouth move. That's about it. Anything else is completely. A matter of circumstance. Shit. Um. Yeah. 
の曲をあんたに乗ってる Damn, they really hit her. Ditto hates women, people happy. <laughs> no, you guys keep saying it, and you know, sooner or later, some, some people are gonna come in thinking that's true, okay? Is this. Is that the kind of people you guys want in the chat? That's that's all I'm saying. You know, you guys are going to invite your own downfall when this chat's going to be full of fucking misogynists. <laughs> Damn, they killed her. I didn't bed now. Had a All right. had a bit of a rough day. Thanks for the good vibes that I hope you and Chad have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, Noel. We're gonna go uh once again go check out Noel. Yeah, thank you, uh thank you for sticking around lurking and chatting and all that good stuff. Hope you have a better day tomorrow. Is there a heal? I think I missed a heal from earlier. Yeah, let's use this to heal. Um. Alright, um, let's do this. Battle over, nice. <laughs> Not. We're grinding these uh, mobs. <laughs> I gotta go over there, but what's over here? What is this? Is that a bomb? They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an op open op conflict. Let's find another path. Well, what is this? Okay, I guess I can't. I just I just can't look at it. I guess <laughs> I'm trying to inspect that thing, but it just puts me in a cutscene. Oh, this is a control panel for the door. No, I've never seen this before in my life. Alright. This planet is paced really well, by the way, so most things you read feels really nice and straightforward. Oh, I Oh. Hold 
Holy shit, man. Today was Loki so bad for me. I literally almost bled out before. I don't know if you're red in general. Yeah, I saw the that you started bleeding. <laughs> how bad was it? Like, how much blood did you have to, like, get like, sent to the hospital or whatever? It was like almost gushing from the needle prick. Maybe you have like that like condition where you like bleed a lot. Is that is that a possibility? I don't fucking know. I'm just spitballing. <laughs> I had to grab my arm and hold pressure. My whole hand was ran. No, I think the tech at the place is really... Was really just bad at what they do. <laughs> I remember um, the last time I got my blood drawn, they fucking stuck a needle in me four times. And it's, it hurt a lot. Because... <laughs> They just like couldn't find my fucking vein. Over there. Press. Okay, inventory. Consumables. The right consumable with their different effects to help exploration. Methyl gauntlets can offer an attack boost. Confirm. Okay. If you're using a consumable, the effect of the item will be shown in the buff area. Alright, let's go. That was easy. They had me get a buff and everything and I just... There's no resistance. When I got back inside, I thought you might have switched to off FFF. The world looks less like anime, more like 3D. <laughs> nah, I won't play FF till uh, like a couple weeks into July. So also, I was trying to say this before. I like playing as female trailblazer. Because when March and I interact, it's like best friends who do girly things and sleepovers. Very girl, girl energy. So cute. Ka 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 wai. Holy shit. <laughs> I was uh, thinking of saying something, but I realized I would get me banned on Twitch. レッカイに侵食されていても、ここはベロブルグの一部。私たちの強度、シルバーメインは誰よりもここに詳しいの。鬼ごっこは終わり、武器を下ろして、私についてきなさい。しつこい。うちらが何の罪を犯したってのこん
Yes, let's kill her. Let's kill her, dude. <laughs> Fuck this bitch. Kill her. It's okay. Like, in game. We're just killing her in game. Wait, can I cancel? Shit. Oh, battle over. Just pull out her gun. <laughs> I wish you could cancel ults one day. Okay, what about... We protect Taylor. We crit, nice. Ow. Okay, we protect Asta next. Two X, please. I hate that I gotta turn that on every time. <laughs> I like how the abilities are just kind of like knocking on off on each other. I mean, I don't know, unless she pulls some like phase two bullshit out of her ass, I think this is pretty fun. <laughs> Every time she attacks. Okay, we need to protect Taylor again. Thank you, Lammy, for the raid. <laughs> hey, thank you for the raid, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bronya is weak to fire. So 
It's really the only one we have. Give Asta a shield. Where does thing get disabled? Um, shield or cell, and then my first. Were you, oh, you actually were live. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were live or not. My first chatter was a bot. Sag. My first chatter ever was also a bot. <laughs> that was back in 2013. My first real person chatter told me that like I wasn't speaking very well. <laughs> back in back in 2013 was or 20 yeah, 2013 was telling me I wasn't speaking very well and I needed like a better mic or something. I remember that though. She disabled all my ults. I lost? How did I lose? What do you mean? I kicked your ass, bro. This guy. この散歩助けてくれたトモを見捨てるなんてできません。ギリはちゃんと通すのがこの散歩なんです。I forgot about this guy. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to come back. Not death which greets them. They will be swept into the infancy of a new world. What about the underworlds? They will lose the protection of the architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You have witnessed the world we have promised. A temporary misunderstanding for an eternity of prosperity. We will honor your decision. おちつきなさ。君のおもちゃにそんな破壊力があるわけないじゃない。じゃあ、なぜ目覚めないのです？普通に眠っているだけよ。根元聞こえなかった？So I see dreams of Cocolia. Renew your chatbot subscription today. You're not a chatbot. Shut up. Shut up. First chat was someone copy pasting the bot message. <laughs> Probably didn't even check that till five minutes later. It's hard, right? To like look at chat while you play a game. I think my first chatter was my roommate telling me to go to bed. Do <laughs> ほかの人と同じく木を見て帰ってもらおうかとふどして。私は騙されないからね。散歩コース好き。連れてくるつもりはなかったんです。ただ煙が濃くて僕も慌てていたのでついうっかり。何を考えているの？上層部のことは君と
それは事故事故ですすぐ探しに行きますあの子は早く見つけ出してちゃんと見張っておいた方がいいわ仮想部が If anybody has any streamer they want me to ray let me know I may not actually pick them but I'll consider them Raid Miko, I'll, uh, I'll consider it, man. I'll consider it. Is Miko even live? Miko's not even live. <laughs> How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Uh, no, I feel much better. You're out for a while, it's beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Miko will be live one day and then you can repent for banning? What about Miko repenting for all the shit he said to me? <laughs> What about that, huh? I'm glad Zeto isn't real. I'm very real. I'm more real than all you VTubers. Okay, actually, I need to stop shitting on VTubers. <laughs> I need to stop shitting on VTubers. It's not good for my future prospects. <laughs> I need to hold back, you know? I need to be more wholesome. Because realistically, I don't like hate VTubers, right? It's kind of like a shtick I do to like kind of rile up chat. But like some of like the shticks I do, it's getting too real. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like it's, it's, um, it's starting to get like, like, oh, like Zeta really hates VTubers and Zeta really hates women. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, hold on, hold on. It's not, don't get carried away. Is someone talking? I'm talking. Stream is not dead. Shut the fuck up. All right. Um, you hate everyone. True. I think like my initial when I meet someone new, my initial um like likeness or fondness of someone is like like lower than the average person right like if you go if you zero to 100 and you meet a new person you expect to start at a 50 i start at like a 30 when i meet a new person and i'm like you gotta build your way up <laughs> you gotta prove to me that you're you're a good person you know uh, i'm a deeply mistrusting person what can i say but yeah um I don't know. Do you know? Do you guys know any Honkai streamers that are alive, that are preferably around my size? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Zet. Nice to meet you too. You're very polite. Five six? No, I'm not talking about my height. And also, I'm five seven. Why did you subtract an inch? You're kind of short. I'm not even short. I'm average. I'm normal height, man. <laughs> Do I look small? I look like normal size, right? I have a predisposition to like people. I'm not a nihilist like Zeto. It's not even about being a nihilist. I'm just like... Like, I'm just... <laughs> not a people person, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the box isn't that big, so you must be short. What about now, huh? What about now? What about now, huh? Am I big? I'm spreading my arms to make myself look bigger. This is what you're supposed to do when an animal tries to make itself look bigger. You try to make yourself look bigger. 
No way, I'm not ending yet. I'm not in, I'm not ending yet. I'm just saying, I'm... <laughs> wow, you look huge. Thank you for the stream. <laughs> Why are you ending? We're not ending yet. I enjoy my stay. Hold on. Hold on. Stay. What's up, Mango? How did your race thing go? Like your, your competition tournament. Uh, why did I pass out? Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. You didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have to come to harm. What's our medical bill? Oh, please, you need to worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I don't exaggerate a condition for Sampo's years, but that guy owes me. He better bring me back some medicine. We're not friends. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdy friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she'll be taking a stroll nearby. So the girl in the silver main guard uniform. I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Oh, I can move around. Holy. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. She has a little booba window on her, on her thing. That's crazy. Who is Sampo, anyway? Good question. He's a man of mystery. Claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much interest in Overworld down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. He managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Wildfire is a grassroots org. Think of it as the silver main guards of the underground, but less stone-hearted. You can't thank you enough. Bye for now. I mean, like, this is crazy, right? Like, that's crazy, dude. She has a window for her booba. My well, stream's ending. Guess it's time to turn it off. Everyone wrap it up. No, no, wait, hold on. Okay, I will end here. <laughs> Actually, though, I will end here. Because it's been fucking eight hours. Does anybody have any raid targets? I have nobody. <laughs> Who's live? Yuta went offline. Fuck. Who am I going to raid, dude? Are we ending? Let me look. Yeah, who should give me one? Targets? Just end? No, I, I have to raid. I have to network, dude. Um, 30 viewer raid. Do I have 30 viewers? I didn't realize I had a lot. VTuber? Or, I don't really care. You should get a wonky eye. What does that mean? Why would I get a wonk? Like, you want me to replace my current eye and get a defective eye? Why would I do that? I don't know. I'm just watching some guy who was struggling with Honkai for several hours and got worked up over a little boob window. How was I struggling with Honkai? I died, like, twice. That, I, I didn't... I don't know him, but new t, t looks pretty good. Let's see. New, new T, Honkai Star Rail. Oh, it's like a Wuthering Wave stream. Ah, uh... it's a little big. <laughs> Is that 50? Um, if not, Liana. Oh, is Liana live? Oh, Liana is live. She's on BRB, though. Should we wait till she's not on BRB and then raid her? Oh wait, no, she's not on BRB. It was just show it was showing that. Alright, yeah. We can raid Liana, even though she's bigger <laughs> by by quite a bit. Raid Liana. Alright. 
Um. Yeah, let me. <coughs> My voice. <laughs> you didn't hear that. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Thank you for uh, sticking around. I appreciate it. I'll be live again in two days. We'll be um. We kind of doing the same thing we did today. Do some runs, followed by some. Honkai Star Rail, I think. Um, join the Discord. Follow me on my socials. Uh, I just realized I didn't actually hit start raid. Yeah, uh, follow me on my socials. All the good stuff. Um, And I will see you guys in the next one in two days. You have socials? Yes. I have a Twitter and an Insta that I barely use. I have a YouTube. Check, my, check out my YouTube videos, please. 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 Nah, my YouTube videos are doing fine, but I appreciate it if you could go check those out too. Um, especially the shorts. Uh, please watch my shorts. No pie mantle. Should I ask earlier? What can I say? We're already in, in outro mode. We're on our way out. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please copy the raid message if you can. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Are you playing an outro song? You hear it, right? No? Wait, you don't hear the outro song? <laughs>